I love how every time I go to the, the game setting on Twitch and YouTube, like the, the box for what game we're playing, I type in BOTW. The first result is Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Is it, you mean this game? Is this, this is the one you're playing, right? No one's playing Breath of the Wild. No, we're behind. We're always behind. Still new to me, damn it. Still new to me, damn it. Uh, so, yeah, another Breath of the Wild stream. We are starting Gerudo Turf today. And between last stream and this one, what did I do? I, fi I did the Labyrinth, so I have that whole getup. And, uh, they did all have floors, it turns out. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Insane. Are you're not wearing it right now, are you? Uh, am I? No, you're wearing uh, you're wearing standard adventurer gear. Yeah, I still have the the snow quill stuff. I, I see you got a lightsaber from a Sith Lord. I, I did. Oh did yeah, you... I found a flame blade in one of the labyrinths. It, it's weaker than the great flame blade. Yeah, of course it is because it's one handed. Hey, it's going fine. Thank you for asking. Uh. What else was in there? I, I got the, the tiara. The diamond, diamond circlet. That's the yeah, only one I found. I didn't find any other parts. But uh, there's the barbarian armor. And I also found the remaining fairies. Uh, I couldn't afford one of them because she wants 10,000 rupees. So Yeah, well, better start bowling. <laughs> you have to build up to that, yeah. Yeah, bowl. I I'm also... I I also got some more stamina fruit just because I got one stamina upgrade because I wanted to make it to the top of a couple stubborn towers, and then it, yeah. it bothered me that it wasn't two full wheels, so I had to make it two full wheels. It's fine. Uh, I just important. I would say I, I would say from there just just focus on hearts until until the end. Yeah, I'm I'm doing hearts now. Good. What's out here? That looks to be a. Uh, Oh! This looks like a place that Vegeta and Goku would fight on. No, we have to go a place where there's nobody. Good old Cliff Mountain. <laughs> That's one of my favorite memes that came out of DBZ, because it's it just is... It's it's applicable to dissing a lot of... Wow. Where are you right now? This looks... This was a Rito Village. This is just, like, oh. the easier-to-get-to, like, upgrade statue. I don't, I don't like having to go to the, the stupid temple. And we haven't been to any of the other towns yet. I, I haven't gone to the uh, Zora village. Because yeah. we're, uh, do, do you, wanted to do, you wanted to do Gerudo first, so that's that's what's next on the agenda. Yep. I am, like, familiar with. What's and, that here? Uh, uh, nothing, don't worry about it. So it turns <laughs> out the last ferry, I had, to, I had to go through the sandstorm. You walked through the sandstorm? I, I just fucking walked, yeah. So how so how are you dealing with the heat issues? Uh, I like went at played? night. Oh, okay. So you're probably you're probably gonna need to get like something cooler. Uh, yes, I assume that once we once we enter the uh, the Gerudo town, we will have access to another shop with more clothing. The labyrinth has no floor. <laughs> Dude, that actually would be a, a very funny, uh, like, a dungeon. It's just a labyrinth, but you got a wall climb everywhere. Not for necessarily for this game, but just for a game in general. Yeah. Side note, uh, it may or may not become relevant that uh, OBS updated. It may or may not be bugged, and Jack currently does not have game audio. So he, he will not hear what uh, what these lovely ladies sound like. But you've been here before. I have, yes. Savak. Savak. Yeah. I forget that she says that with like such force. Uh, what? What do you? What do you mean, Bo? Bo. Did you know? Wow. She is exactly at the same level on Link's height as Ganondorf is. Ganondorf. Uh, yeah. Link can canonically or... standing straight up and Bo. Anyway. Yeah. Bo. Sorry. Translates as man in your language. Vo! So long as Vo. we're on the subject, vi is our word for woman. What do you think? Vi. Pretty easy to remember. Yeah, uh, can I come in? I like how they're nice, but they just, you can't go with... Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, no, they uh, didn't like that. 
Oh. Hmm. How climbable are the walls of Agrabah? Well, they notice. Mind. Don't mind me, ladies. Are you gonna do it like a Gerudo? I'm inconspicuous. By the way, I can't hear it, but how do you like the music? Uh, it, it sounds like Desert Town music. Wait. Oh, they have they have eyes on the sky. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you this right now, and I I, I spent like an hour trying to figure like well, not an hour. Uh, are you minutes, gonna give but... me a chance to figure it out first? Yeah. Okay. It's. Yeah, that is Gerudo law. All right. So my dumbass decided to uh, start try give uh, Naruto Shippuden another another chance. Yeah, how'd that work out? Uh, well, it starts in the it starts with a lot of stuff in the Sand Village, so this all feels very weirdly timely. Oh, okay. They oh, you also, didn't do this. They also kind of got Ryan. fucked because did they didn't have eyes in the sky. Eyes in the sky. Did I not? I thought you said they were gonna get fucked. Yeah, no, you didn't because the top part is still uh, orange. Ah. Uh. Uh, no, anyway, I, I regret ever comparing. Like, I, I, I used to always say, yeah, Naruto and Bleach, they're both kind of bad, but they can be fun to watch. Like, I, I can, it's just choose your vice. I, I feel, I regret ever comparing them as equals. Bleach is way better than Naruto. <laughs> Naruto is just... <sighs> You'd think, like, after the original series went for, like, two years of filler, and, like, they, they, they... People were sick of it. They were ready for, like, new canon manga Naruto. You'd think they would, like, go all in, right? No, they. Yeah. It, it looks cheap as shit, and the pacing is, like, One Piece level. Well, that's, uh... Immediately out of the gate. Spent a whole ass episode with Gara just, like, flo floating around, fla slapping some dude in the skies above the Sand Village. An entire fucking episode. Yeah, uh... Yeah, that is why I do not uh, like watching. Uh, I don't like watching Naruto because it has bad pacing and the writing, uh, for me at least, is just not that interesting. What the hell am I doing? Hold on. Oh, there's magnet stuff. Okay. Hang on. Somebody sent like a really long message, and I was trying it's, to read it's, it, it's but a bot. The... oh, is it a bot? Yeah. Shit. You want me to ban him? Oh, I can't. I can't find it. The did, did they post the message and then, like, leave the chat or something? I was trying to go into Twitch, but uh, apparently, like, the stream chat doesn't, like, save previous stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't... Yeah, I... I, don't I, really I know, care I know you don't. Like, it's, it's pretty common knowledge on these streams. Neither of us really hold Naruto in very high regard. Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean I dislike people who, like, don't like it. It's just... It, it is what it is. Okay, this is what we're doing. Are there more? Oh yeah, this this puzzle this puzzle I I liked. I also mentioned to you the uh, the like leader of Gara's team, the scary oh, looking yeah. dude with the wind sword. His name Bobby. Oh yeah, the, oh yeah, the one with the with. So I I, I asked this before, and I'm gonna restate this just for the stream effect. Um, that, that, the fact that he covers half his face with a sheet, is there a reason for that? Uh, not that I know of. He just, he, he like, has a, a sideways face mask. Yeah. Same, same, but with Dragon Ball Z. I still but think even Dragon then... Ball Z holds up somewhat. Like, there's it definitely age... intrigue in, like, the Namek arc. Yeah, the... <laughs> That was I like the dynamic arc because it had a scene where fucking uh Bulma like tricked uh, You know, uh, I still the soldiers. 
Yeah, and into like fighting the wildlife and dying. I, I'm, I'm never gonna get used to the, uh, to the uh, Legend of Zelda like uh, you got thing being all piano. It's just, it's just too, too rough. Anyway, uh... <laughs> I had more- I had more shit to say about Naruto, but now that, like, this is a, a puzzle that requires focus. Yeah, clearly. You're- you're, uh, you're missing stuff- the stuff I'm saying. Oh well. <laughs> Wait, what did I miss? It-, it it's not important. <laughs> yeah, I- I still really- yeah, the fucking, uh... Not that I can hear it, obviously. But, uh, oh, Thunderblade. But uh, I don't like the, uh, one of the few things I don't like about this game is how uh, the, uh... Yeah? It's how, it's how the piano, the piano they use for the uh, you get thing. I like the old one better with they, when they were using, like, a more, obviously, synthy gamey music, and then they just use piano, and it's just like, I get that it fits with the theme of stuff, but... I don't know. It's too different. I don't like change! I was, I was so tempted to say something, but I stopped because I don't want to ruin the puzzle for you. I also only just got why it's the Leaf Village in Naruto. Why? Because he's a fox, and this lets him wear a leaf on his forehead. Because <laughs> Kitsune? Oh, yeah. I just, I never put that together. Neither did I. That was very subtle. I like so. No. Not close enough. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, it just fell off. It disappeared. Where's the fucking heart? It's gone! Uh... Am I missing another... No, I don't see another, uh, block yet, so I need to open that gate. Yeah. That, I think that contains another block in there. Oh! What? <laughs> Boy, that must have been so frustrating for you to wait for me to notice. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's I I, I uh, to be honest, I forgot about that. But yeah, I I already know that you're not the. Uh... Go on, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm not. I'm I'm holding back. I'm not. I'm not the angry person I used I play I am when, whenever you try to fight Majora, okay? Okay, you got it. Brown. Puzzle get. All right, almost done. Oh wow, that takes away three hearts. That's fine. I got hearts. I forgot. Did you get rubber armor that like enables your that increases your uh, resistance to electricity? Gum gum armor. Hey, you managed to uh, get to resurrection, Bob. Another fucking weird thing about about Shippuden that I'm sure most people would agree with. It, they do some really weird thing where they the first scene of the series they show off like where the manga was at the time, which was when Naruto meets Sasuke again, and that's like episode yeah. fifty that happens. Wait, so they do a flash forward to fifty episodes later? Yes, for like two minutes, and then they go back to like the regular continuity. It's so bizarre. Yeah, that's um. 
Not. I like how Resurrection Bob is just heals you afterward. That was, that's nice of him. It's like an extreme version of how Bleach, the uh, Thousand Year Blood War, just spoils what's going to happen in the episode in the start. It just like shows <laughs> scenes from the, the the climax of the episode right after the intro. Was, but that was like later on in the episode. That's not like 50 episodes later. That's like... That's what I said. It's a more extreme version. Yeah. Hey, it's night. All right. You got that done. Now let's go to the real challenge. Sneaking into the... Somehow. Nice crunchy sand. I hate sand. Yeah. <sighs> sand mission. Slink, played by Harrison Ford. I know he's not the one who said he hates sand. It's just the... <sighs> that's that's a Harrison Ford-style voice. Hey, oh, you got a quest for us, lady? Greetings. This is the northwest gate of Gerudo Town. Feel free to admire it from the outside. Sub, sir. Town law states Vo like yourself are not allowed within these walls. Must admit, I'm impressed you got here from the northwest. Did you truly pass through the sandstorm? Technically, I have. Yeah, that's right. That would be impossible. Not for me! Wander into a sandstorm, you'll lose all sense of direction. Even us Gerudo are in a bind if one season ceases upon us. Shudder to think what would happen to a Hylian in a sandstorm. That's precisely why ancient cultures hid all manner of treasure in the Gerudo Desert. I don't really know the details either. There are statues of swordswomen scattered across Gerudo Desert, the remnants of ages long past. People Ooh. talk about the statues pointing to the hiding place of ancient treasure, but that's just superstition. Even if it was true, there was dangerous monsters in the sandstorms. I wouldn't risk it. Sounds like a quest. Whoops. Oh, nope, sorry. That was an uh, accident. Oh, that's go. fine. Is She looks like she's got very small feet compared to the rest of her. I guess very she does. Dainty. I guess just... Dainty feet... Dude, don't be creepily taken like Chris I wasn't Johnson. taking a picture. I'm just using my phone lens. Sorry, my Sheikah tablet. <laughs> Congratulations, smart. Link. You've gotten the Gerudo feet entry in the bestiary. Oh my gosh. Are those skulls? No. There. Hydro melons. Yeah, where you can make cool drinks to keep yourself uh, cold during the uh, the hot summer desert days. You can use those to make uh, things, electric things. Have I seen these yet? Yes, I have. This looks conspicuous. Ooh. Perhaps too conspicuous. Yeah, it was too conspicuous. Is that... Is there a guard in that tent? I guess. Let me know if you need help. Well, my first plan is to just go around the, the perimeter of the village. My second plan is to, I guess, go to the... The... Oasis again. Are those bad ideas? Um, is, is there, one of them is a good idea. Yep, I came on foot. Must have been hard to walk through the desert. On the whole, these uh, these Gerudo are like really nice. They're like the nicest Gerudo in like Zelda I, history. I, I guess, yeah. I mean, one were outright one group were outright bandits. The other were pirates. These ones, they're just, like, they're pretty chill. It's just, like, no man can enter the village, and if they, if they find you, they just kick you out, and they don't even, like, kill you or, like, rob you or anything. They're just like, oh, you infiltrated our village. Whatever. I mean, technically, the no man rule still applied in, like, Ocarina Gerudos as well. Yeah, but you were able to befriend, befriend them.
And these walls don't look tall enough to stop a titan at all. Fine, we just blend in. There's like arguments as to whether or not Attack on Titan's ending is like better or worse than Code Geass's. I haven't heard that comparison. Um, I've heard mostly negative things about Attack on Titan's ending. And also some accusations of anti-Semitism. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's new. Yeah, there's a bunch of, like, uh, like authoritarian army and armband shit in, like, late Attack on Titan. That's about oh. all I know about it. And are they the good guys? You know, if even <laughs> if they're the protagonists of the series, are they the good guys? <laughs> that That's kind of the argument, isn't it? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize that, like, uh, that, like, you had a show that would capture the essence of, like, Breaking Bad in terms of, like, uh, like, uh, protagonist-centered morality. What was that, what was that movie about, uh, Starship Troopers? Yes! <laughs> wait, wait, they're just, you walk, like, there's a scene where, like, they, where, like, three characters walk in wearing, like, practically Gestapo uniforms, and you're all like... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah there probably a good idea. Is close to the... Uh, I think the closest one... I don't know, you still have your, uh, your radar turn tuned to, like, detect shrines, right? You didn't turn that off? Out of frustration? Uh... Sheikah sensor? No, it is, it's still on, yeah. I see it in the corner. So, I, I guess the closest one is... Oh! You can I, ride... I, I do. How, how do I ride them? Do I have to uh, sneak? Talk, talk. Yeah, sneak. Like you would a horse. You're not sneaking, you're just walking. Oh. Your footsteps are loud, bro. Loud and crunchy. So slow. Crunch, crunch, crunch. crunch. <laughs> what else have I been watching? I, I watched... I made it through Over the Garden Wall... Yeah, how, how, that, how did that end up? Uh, I remember why I lost interest in it the first time. It wasn't bad. I think it has a lot of good qualities, but it's very indicative of the era of CN, of Cartoon Network that it was made in. Oh yeah, the, uh, the serious era? No, the, like, Adventure Time regular show lol random era. Oh yeah. I kind I kind of lost interest in the show because it's got a lot of cool ideas and it's got uh like the it's got like a like a kind of old brother where art thou kind of bluegrass style to it with lots of yeah. musicals. But boy, are, can the characters get annoying? I bet uh who is the more annoying out of the two of them? The the little kid. Of course, cuz he's a little kid. Little kids are annoying. Where are you headed? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna go wander way, in the middle of a desert. Okay, so uh, I told you that. Yeah. I, 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 I kind of was waiting for him to, like, chill out. He just vanished oh, in the rock, yeah. Yeah. I was waiting for him to, like, uh, chill out and be directable, and then I didn't notice when it actually happened. Surprise, motherfucker! That was too the early. temperature is getting very high. Oh. You are overheated. Fine. Either get into some shade or fucking wear something cooler. What counts as cool? Oh wait, you're, the reason why your temperature is high is because you drew your flame sword. You're you're. you're wait, really? It, yeah. <laughs> So, if I have the ice sword, then it'll cool you down. Yeah, see, look at that shit! Slightly unintuitive, but okay. I'd make sense. What do you mean, unintuitive? It makes it makes perfect sense. I agree, it makes sense. It's just not something you would think to be in a mechanic in a game. Uh, 
Why do you have an ice sword out? I'm trying to stay cool. I guess, I guess we have been told that, like, uh, holding a torch keeps you warm, so. Yeah. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, good point. You're just... I'm gonna wander deeper into the <laughs> desert. Wander deep, deep into the desert. Hello, Mr. Wolf. You got friends? That's nice. Oh, they, they decided not to fight you. They recognize you as their kin. They know better. Wait, but why is the combat music playing? Are the wolves actually fighting you? Alright, so, um... I'm gonna let you know now. Uh, like, oh, hold on. Go, turn left. Oh, that thing. Oh, it's an electric? Yeah. I've seen electric ones before. Is this, like, a new... Hello, ow. Why are you- what the- why'd you just stand there and take it? You knew he was going to attack, what? The- what? No, seriously, what? That was the- I didn't expect him to have as much range as he did, I don't know. You don't know! Also, I still find the controls for this game very unintuitive and unzelda like I have to remember you, what, like, the you... dodge button is and everything. How do you... Oh, wow. I'm... There you go. <laughs> okay, so those ruins up... I think it's either those ruins or some other ones up ahead. There's a shrine, but you gotta do a puzzle to open it. Okay, it's not those ones, it's another one. <laughs> By ruins, you mean these spires? E okay, yeah. Uh, no, there's like ruins built into the into the wall. Like it's uh, the... Oh, uh, it's going off. Third, like the third act of... Uh... Oh no, there's one like... Uh, uh, this is a different one, but yeah, you're, you're going the right place. I've been uh, re-watching the original Helsing with Darian. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned that, and then Darian saw, you, see, you said that he saw, like, the, the the final villain of the series, and he said, that's a character from Naruto. From Boruto, yes, that there was yeah. another uh, Boruto villain spotted. Oh, okay, there's, oh, oh, shoot, you're in the sandstorm. It's messing with your, uh, your map. Oh, well, now I can't have the shrine radar. Yeah, because the... Ooh, spooky! Wow, this looks like like that one scene in Mad Max, Fury Road. I barely like remember swamp. that movie. Just probing. Anyway, a, uh, yeah, I, I realize that it's really, really noticeable where exactly it like went off the manga and started doing its own thing. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, like, the first half of Helsing is, like, the, the, you know, the, the dude with the, the Valentine brothers. Yeah, motherfucker, I'm gonna fuck this bitch in the skull! <laughs> and then, like, episode <laughs> seven. Don't say that! We're, <laughs> we don't want to get demonetized. Wait, we're not monetized. Fuck it. Yeah, say whatever you want. I'm yeah, okay, go on. We are, but that doesn't matter. Anyway... Episode, like, seven or something, they start going into, like, the, the paranoia agent direction. Like, what is a vampire? What does it really mean? This is Helena. She's been living what? for 200 years alone. What does it mean to be a vampire? Yeah, are all you... the implications of it. Which <laughs> I think is the more interesting part of the lore. But, yeah. yeah, if you pay attention, it's just really, really stark when the, sh when the change happens. <laughs> what? Do you suck blood? Yes. Are you allergic to sunlight? Yes. You're probably a vampire. Well, you get like the Helena episode where she's like lived alone yeah. in a room for 200 years or something. I forgot. Yeah, it's the one, the one vampire that Helsing organization refuses to kill because because she's not that, bothering anyone. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so you're talking about so the final villain, right? Uh, you said that uh, 
the Darien cut that it looks like a Boruto villain. Hey, Elf King, he's online. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like... And you saw, it showed me side-by-side -side pictures, and I'm like, that motherfucker, whoever... I don't think it was, uh... I don't think Kishimoto is working on Boruto, like, full-time. I think he... he you but think it has it, a different character designer? He's just a, a character designer that's more hacky, yeah. Why is it that plagiarism is, like... Is, like, a... Not... Is... It's weird... It's not a new like, thing for Naruto, though. Yeah, like, I know I, that. I, I would I'm buy it from why, Kishimoto. But like, why is... J but why does Japan have such like a, a, a like a like a very high plagiarism? You don't hear about this shit in like the U.S. Is it like, just as like much. Japan as a whole? It's weird because I think cause it's a it Kishimoto like, thing. If I had a dollar for every like for every like weird plagiarism scandal in like uh, in like in like Japan that I've heard about. I'd have a, I'd have enough to buy myself a nice meal at like at like the Italian restaurant down the street. Okay, well let let's finish on the on the Naruto Boruto discussion before we go yeah. into other examples. Kishimoto is working on Boruto monthly, according to Darian. Also, okay. I'm not legitimately going to say the incognito thing is that's the vampire is yeah. plagiarism because it's, it's a very cool. basic design. But. Uh, <laughs> No, like, throughout the entirety of Naruto, from the very beginning, he's gotten accusations of just, like, ripping shit off. Specifically Hunter Hunter a lot in the original yeah. Naruto. Yeah, rip off, play, like... Treasure hidden. Yep. Any shifty merchants? I don't even know what I'm asking about. Maybe you have to... I got an ice okay, sword. there's somebody you gotta ask. You gotta ask around. I think Here either outside, oasis? either outside the walls of, of the town or in the oasis to like say, hey, how do I get inside the the? Well, we spoke to everyone around the. Other than unless we need to talk to the the guy standing out there like a second time. Perhaps oh, you, you, that's also marked as a quest, right? Like. There, there are like a quest log. Yeah, there's a quest log. If you go to uh, not map, not the map one, but yeah, adventure log. Silent sword shrine room, quest. That's the treasure. Those are shrine quests. If you hit right uh, to the left, the right stick to the left. There you go. It begins to set which one is like the currently active one. Heard of a man at the Karakara Bazaar who found a way to sneak into Gerudo Town, a place men are forbidden from entering. Yeah, hit A, and then that'll uh, that'll help. That'll set the like the points. Kara Kara Bazaar. Is that not here? This is here, yeah. The technological leap from Shippuden to Boruto is funny to me. I assume they have, like, smartphones in Boruto. They have video game consoles. Because they already have, like, uh, radios and everything. Like, wireless radio technology in, like, original Naruto. The most... Because, you know, because the most interesting part about Naruto to me is just the, uh, the technological... Ah! The hey, you found... Anachronisms. Hey! Yeah. Let's talk to her and continue. What a lovely long, young lad you are. Do you need something from me? Mm -hmm. Heard about a man who snuck into Gerudo Town. I don't know anything about him. Sorry I couldn't be more help. Hmm. My alt-right vibes are going off. Something's off don't, about this person. No, you're you're gonna get us kicked. You're gonna get us suspended for a week again, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll just be silent and not say anything ever. No, it's fine. I'm just making a joke about the fact that we almost got suspended again for the same fucking video. Thankfully, There's someone only... actually like a human uh, responded to the appeal this time and, and realized, realized it was an that algorithm we were... fuck up. Yeah. You always doubt someone's word. You're beautiful! Maybe this style would look quite fetching. On you. On you. You want right. to buy them for 600 rupees? Oh, that's not bad. Oh. Oh. Smash cut mm. to just stark naked. I'll look away. I promise. I'm not giving him my clothes.
<laughs> you look adorable. <laughs> that f that fucking music just like just da -da 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 -da. that is just like yeah, hey, I'm showing yourself off. Well, I guess it's a good thing that Slink is androgynous. Oh. Yeah. Wait, no, you had an extra outfit. You're still wearing them. Yeah, I have an extra outfit. So is that a, the rare male Gerudo? Uh, maybe? Or is it somebody who tanned themselves and dyed themselves to, with the hair to make themselves... <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a, it's a Garyu. Is that the, is that the right term? Oh, yeah, it is. Alright. Are you Gerudo? No, I'm just Garyu. Sorry. I don't remember... Uh, I don't remember a Zelda game doing, like, the Okama thing before now. Yeah. Usually you find that in, like, uh, in, like, anime and stuff, but never in, uh, in, like, games. I, I don't remember. Maybe in Persona? Tingle does it a lot. Uh, the, the Tingle games, rather. Because they're slightly <laughs> more adult-tinted than, uh, Legend of Zelda games are. Adult... I don't want adult Zelda. Okay, you got the Tingle games. That'll be your thing. All right. They're not we'll bad games. Them. We'll do two of them. Well, we won't release them into the West, and then that's it. Oh, by the way, the 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 Gerudo clothing uh, has heat resistance, so. Not yet. It doesn't. I might have to upgrade it. No, you do. See, set so bonus heat resistance protects the skin from the harsh sun. Where where do you see that? Oh, uh, okay, I see it. Yeah, set so bonus. Man, you're. <laughs> No, I thought usually it has the set bonus, like, it says it on the clothing down there. It doesn't for this one for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. I think you gotta wear all of them for it to take effect. Uh, the technology thing brings me to another point I was going to make about Naruto. Everyone just fucking walks everywhere. They got radios, they got smartphones, they haven't thought of, like, cars? Ninja logic. If you're driving a car, it makes it very easy for the target to be found, and with as a ninja, you want to be stealthy. Airplanes. Like, there's trees everywhere, granted, but... Air helicopters? Again! That, that's obvious! Whenever somebody's flying an airplane, you just get ninjas to go up there, fire like a technique off, and you just down a bunch of people. It's not stealthy! <laughs> it's... it's... It, it, but Game Boy is stealthy. A helicopter is not stealthy. There, that's how the technology works. Hey, you haven't really you got... lived until you've got other colors to choose from. Buy from me, Lee. <laughs> Abs. You can dye your clothes. The Tano Village is pretty far away, though. Not everyone gets to go there. Oh, there's a dye shop there? I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, so... Yeah, so if you uh, if you have certain items and like rupees, you can dye your clothing. Like you need, that's what the uh, gems are for. That's to dye them like certain colors, and that's why. Yeah. Veil top and sirwall. I assume that's what. Yeah, that's what I already. Yeah, have. that's what you have. There you got shrooms. Iron shroom, razor shroom, sun shroom. Zap Shroom, Chill Shroom. And thus we see the first ever Gerudo children. God, all the... When I'm all grown up, I will be. The kids are... Well, the growth spurt hits hard. It's funny that... Well, I mean, there's only they're only gonna have like two models. <laughs> they're gonna have one... I don't know. Do you think Gerudo ever, like, go on a quest to, like, seek out their fathers? Eh? If they're ever curious? That's a very Japanese thing. Like, the, the quest for the parents. Yeah, which is also a plotline in, in Yakuza. There's, like, a little girl who's looking for her mother that she's never met. God, Yakuza's so... <laughs> <There's> blood, <laughs> blood runs very thick in Japan. That reminds me. Hey! Oh, it's a... It's a, uh... Vi... Uh... Ruto. Rito, sorry. Uh, that reminds... What was I going to say? Uh, AEW did a cross-promotion with Sega to do a Yakuza street fight on, uh, on, an, on, a dyna, on a Dynamite show. I'm sorry, was this bird looking to buy poultry? Bird? Look. No, birds can eat other birds. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay. 
I just it's a weird like, it's I, a weird thing I, to I be walked disappointed down the about. street and I walked down the street where I live now one night and I went one day and I was seeing a fucking raven attack and like and like eating a, a bird. Okay, I know birds can eat other birds. We got we got a, like a massage parlor. It was great. You're lying. Our aroma special skills will leave people feeling moisturized to perfection. I don't know what this does. What? What? Steal. Rob. Place an inventory. You're gonna get arrested and they're gonna figure out you're actually a Vo. Sorry, Vo. Oh, hello. You're allowed here. What? Why are you allowed here? I'm a lady, Goron. Yes, those exist. No, don't ask questions. We're actually genderless. Eh, I guess that counts. Well, we're not allowed to let Vo in. It doesn't mean that we that uh, exclusively Vi are in, so fuck it. What is it, ma'am? As you can see, I'm busy gathering information. Information. You've never heard of Rumor Mill either? Nope. I've never heard of the Rumor Mill. For you to say you've never heard of Rumor Mill, Hyrule's most popular news publication. You must be lying. I am an award-winning investigative journalist, after all. Award-winning? Who's giving out awards for journalism in, this fuck, in these dark times? There's not even, like, a king anymore. The king's a ghost. The princess is in, like, void prison. <laughs> I'm Tracy herself from Rumor Mill. Crazy Tracy? Hope you enjoy reading Rumor Mill. I take pride in my work. That's a terrible name for a reputable pu uh, like publication, ma'am. Yeah, but it's catchy, though. Rumor Mill. So what are you? Finally found the Vo of my dreams, and I just recently married him. Thought I'd oh. finally found happiness. Then he fell ill with a rare disease. The only oh. thing that can save him is the innards of a Mulduga. I would never be able to take down such a creature. Oh, you got one? They said they have serious issues to deal with. They have no time for my plight. See, the, these Gerudo are really nice. They marry instead of just having, like, a one-night stands, I guess. Yeah. Well, no. It, 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 maybe the other's married. We don't know. It, in Gerudo Valley? I don't know. It's often been spotted west of here in the Taruma Dunes and in the south. Well, they, it's it's rumored that they, like, go to Hyrule Castle Town to look for boyfriends, not, like, fuck toys. <laughs> fuck toys. Whoops, can't say that in a Nintendo game. <laughs> Do I have right. I assume I don't have it. I don't know what a Mulduga is. I found, uh, I found the high Max. I, one of those things, the giant Pinox. Yeah. Yeah. Did you beat? Did you beat one? I beat two of them. Oh, cool! You can uh, beat a third one. You can upgrade the uh, the barbarian outfit. Yeah, the barbarian outfit I really like because that just uh, it saves on weapon durability by increasing your DPS. Hey. Hello, princess. Chief. Freeze. Yet another traveler. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? How did you get in here? We have voice again. Oh. oh. Yeah, what do you think your voice sounds like? Interesting there. Rather interesting there. Fine. It sounds like a ladybug like uh, character. And I didn't notice that the first time I played. Oh, is it all you? I don't know if it is. I have to listen to it again. Have to wait till she talks again. It it sounded a little bit like her, but. Yeah. For yeah, the, but it, it, for the most you... part, I've been a little unimpressed with like this game's voice acting. I'm not surprised. This is their first time doing like it for. I guess the Zelda wow. team doing it for for like a, a game. It's not the first time Nintendo's done it. They've kind of they have a history of being kind of cheap on the voice acting front. Yeah, they they put all their uh, work into like gameplay and shit. 
Memory just jumped into my head, something my mother spoke of. When the calamity happened, the princess of Hyrule placed a fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. That swordsman, just like our new friend here, was named Slink. Slink, the stealth swordsman. The same stories not also say that the Hylian champion carried a legendary sword? Oh, I don't know, I lost it. It, it did something happen to it. If I recall correctly, it was called the Sword That Seals the Darkness. That's a and long name for a sword. Princess of Hyrule supposedly hid it away in the middle of a deep forest. Mm. Oh, I thought it would be in Hyrule Castle. No, it's not. I don't remember ever hearing of a Hylian Vi among the champions. Oh, right. I, I was thinking, oh, when are we going to meet Urbosa? Then I remembered, oh, right. She's, like, dead. She's dead. Huh? They're all dead. They're all sealed inside the... I guess that is quite a, a growth spurt, because she's supposed to be, like, 14 or something. And she's, like, yeah. five feet tall. Yeah. Very normal human height. Not, not like, Gerudo height. Ger yeah. Just wait till she grows up. Then she'll be, like, tall and stronger than everyone. They, they keep growing at, like, a teenager's growth rate until they're 30. Yeah, and then they're, then they're taller than any other man, and then they just are like, Oh! Recover the stolen. Okay! Yeah, we have to recover an ancient Gerudo artifact, the Thunder Helm. There's only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand the lightning from Naboris. A oh. Thunder Helm, a family heirloom and relic of the Gerudo. But as Buliara says, it was stolen from us. I, okay, I remember this. This is, this is really fun. Our soldiers can tell you all you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through this arch. It will lead you to the barracks. Then seek out Captain Teak. Hmm. Captain uh, Tenil? <laughs> I take heart in having such a rare visitor as yourself. Later, Boso must be looking out for us. I feel like I'm being allowed to get off of, awfully close to, like, the royal leader as, like, What are you gonna do? Look at her! You wanna fuck with, you wanna fuck with the, the fucking giant-ass swords? Yeah, I know, I'd fucking die for it, but, like, still. This seems like poor security is all I'm saying. She trusts us. Yeah. You gonna... Let's spark. What if Put I don't? Put away your weapon. Okay, she actually strikes back. All right, lesson learned. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Fuck with the bull, you get the horns. You know what? She held back. You didn't take any heart damage. That was a warning. But what if I did it again? <laughs> don't die. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't. Get, I, I'm not in the desert. I don't need my ice sword anymore. I can save it. Yeah. Uh, I got the, th the thunder. Th I got cool elemental swords, but they're kind of kind of weak. They're good if you if you know your elemental matchups. I'm in trouble again. This is all your fault. What me? I just stood here. Who am I talking to? Just talking to what? Baby. I don't know where to... but my baby. I'm right here, Dad. You don't need to be so loud. So, it seems that Gerudo genes are just constantly dominant, huh? Why, well, yeah. But yeah, logically, it's they a... kind of have to be in order to reproduce as an all-female race. How do you, okay, what do you think, like, the, uh, how much DNA do you think they take from, like, the male, like... like... <laughs> how much DNA do they take? Like, no, okay, no, 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 and I don't mean, like, in terms of volume, I mean, like, from a, from a, uh, from a, uh, <laughs> From a reproductive, like, uh, and, like, gene, gene, genes perspective. Like, because humans, it's, like, 50, it's, like, 50-50 in terms of, like, inherit, inheriting DNA. So, do you think it's, like, it's, like, 90%? 95%? Maybe. Like, all, like, I, they, they just... Like, the, the father doesn't have a whole lot of influence on how the, like, the daughter is born? Well, I'm just, yeah, just, they... 
they take they take only what's needed for like to to like uh, diversify the genetics. But considering that it's an all female race, with like, like same skin tone, same hair color, generally yeah, similar appearances. It's a very it's very fascinating like the concept of an all female race that relies on like other species to reproduce. They did that in, in Mass Effect, the Asari. Yeah. Yeah, and uh and there was like one Asari, they're all female race and they reproduced like through like a what the did something fall? I looked like it, I didn't see what. Must have been like a shadow. bug. A shadow or something. I like the design of this place. Uh, so, so one of them was like all like angry and like had greenish skin, and, he, and she did something, and and uh, she's like, "Sorry, my father was a Krogan," which is like this like uh, gigantic brutish like race. Yeah. So, so I, I that's that's interesting to me, but like the concept of what the fashion, passion. I don't know. I tr I shop at Tramp Vamp personally. <laughs> Tramp Vamp. <laughs> <laughs> this little girl basically said, Man, I can hear everything through this window. What a bunch of idiots. I'm never going to talk that loud when I'm older. <sighs> why Why do kids have to be so damn loud? They're interrupting our conversation. You can just climb up. You can climb up! <laughs> very sneaky. I'm very Ladies. sneaky. Hi. Having a good time? Finally got my hands on the password for you know where. I'm sorry. Is there like a a a ladies club? You need a password to get in. Anyway, the password is. Wait a second. Darn! I thought I was inconspicuous. You're gonna have to uh, listen through the window. Try to try seeing. Try to try listening. It. What the. <laughs> That's a nice vase. Okay. Drop it carefully instead of like... Brought a gift. There you go. What am I gonna do with this jug, mister? Just hurry up and tell us the password. <laughs> it's GSC Diamond. Okay. Gold, silver, crystal, diamond. Gerudo Secret Club. But what's the diamond mean? Mm. Who knows? Mm. All right, uh, it should be around here, and that that that's there. There's a, a unique outfit you can get from there. Oh, oh, librarian Gerudo. She Where looks like little... like she looks like Pearl from Steven Universe with a hair. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm an archaeologist of sorts. I was just going over some ancient text that I discovered the other day, and I finally decoded it. Well, part right. of it at least. The rest is not far off. We are the Gerudo Gems. You and I meeting here is no... You don't fuck with the Gerudo Gems. Yeah, they just... They'll rip you a new one. <laughs> rip you a new one. <laughs> We're gonna rip you a new one. They all brought, bring out the rhino and just fire. I completely glossed over what she just said. Blessing? Said that heroines held powers that were part of a bigger whole. Each heroine had a different power. Skill, spirit, endurance, knowledge, flight, motion, and gentleness. The, the power of gentleness is one to be respected. Go plan it. <laughs> They're gonna summon Captain Hyrule. Mm. Mm. Alright, we gotta, we gotta take care of the divine beast before it's safe to really, like, examine the desert. Yeah, oh, that's another shrine. Cool. Bye. I wish my sister was more like you. She she obsesses over Lady Urbosa. This sister? Or, like, is it the guard lady inside? Because she seemed cool. She cut me. She... No, she did! You didn't take any heart damage! <laughs> that's right, she used the, the soft side of her sword. Couldn't she hurt a fly. She used the back... She used the back end of her blade to just throw you away, and, and that was it. Oh, that's probably the person you need to talk to up there. Oh, golden bow. 
Gerudo made bow is popular for the fine ornamentations along its limbs, designed for hunting and warfare alike. Oh, a sniper bow! Just hit him in the head from distance, and uh, and you can. Hello. You got information for me, lady? I don't know why for a second I thought maybe there was like entries for important NPCs. Yeah. We're on high alert after the recent theft, so you should clear out. I know about the theft. I'm here to help. Her nose is so big, she had to lower her mask. She had to, like, do a cutout so that her nose could go through it. Yeah. Cool. It's nice that they wear that. They're, they're, uh, they respect the pandemic of say, the sandstorm pandemic. They get well, it's the... not doing anything if you're not covering your nose, dummy. <laughs> We've determined the Yiga's hideout is in Car Carusa Valley. Okay, yeah. But the soldiers are all exhausted, so I was just thinking about requesting some extra help. Yeah, I'm a mercenary. I'll do it for you. This Hylian Vi has agreed to help us, so offer her any information you can. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, well, that was easy. I wonder. Because you just put on, like, a female outfit, and they don't even, like, do any kind of inspection. They just take you at your word. Which means, maybe they, if somebody, like, comes and they just, and they can just say, yeah, I'm, I'm female. They're just like, okay, we respect you. It's not... A biological thing, it's more like how do you identify yourself as Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Who Maybe knows? Not. I, that's a that's like my head cannon. Oh. Oh. Hmm. If we aren't busy enough searching for the Chiefs heirloom, now we have to find Barta too. Captain hears about this fiasco. She'll punish us, punish us for sure. Probably a hundred laps around Gerudo Desert again. So wait, there's there's a person missing too. Yeah, thieves are highly skilled in both stealth and disguise. Slipped into town in the dark of night, stole the chief's heirloom, and vanished like smoke in the wind. We believe them to be descendants of the Chica tribe that splintered and turned to villainy. Carusa Valley. Okay. So, um, this, so for this one, once you leave and you're, like, approach their, uh, hideout, you should probably, uh, use the stealth suit. Uh, Carusa Valley's up there, so yeah, it's just straight north, up there. I, was I, wish, say, I wish you could make it so that like stamps appeared on your radar. Well, that's what that's what the the five colors are for. Oh, you can set those from the yeah. I thought you had to do the the like scope vision to place those. See, that's what I thought too. Oh. Blood Moon! Sure is bloody out tonight. I love, I love the piano just, like, going crazy when the Blood Moon, uh, goes. The Blood Moon rises once again. The Blood Moon rises once again! Yeah, it's a shame I can't hear the audio. It, it's very, it's very nice, it would be very nice to hear her say that. Just doing some aerobics. Don't mind me. <laughs> I wanted to like climb up the waterfall, but no, it didn't I'm not. Work. La I'm not laughing at that. <laughs> You're oblivious, man. What? Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, this has been how long has it been? An hour. Yeah. Um. So remember. So earlier uh, today, uh, before we started streaming, you were trying to figure out like. Obs's issues with the uh, audio, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, splish splash. Uh, so I was so, and you were like, "Man, you can't, you won't be able to hear what's going on." And so that's what you said to me, right? Are you able to hear it? I am. Yeah, I've been able to hear it this entire time, and I was wow. dropping hits, and you were not noticing. Well, no, I noticed you talking about the audio. I just thought you remembered it because you were talking like very generic broad strokes. <laughs> Damn it! I you mean I could have gone on with this and. Well, I'm glad you can hear it. 
I can't hear myself too. So whatever you did worked. It just you gave up, and we're like, I can't. It's not working. <laughs> what is and I this? Just... What is that? Put oh, it's, my... it's too cold now. You gotta put on. Gotta put... gotta put on my man clothes. I'll change back eventually. I know. Because... It's like Ranma. Oh, I know who that is. Yeah, go to him. Oh, I met this guy. I met him at his original location. Yeah, he's he's the monster parts dude. You can cook monster food. I don't know if it's like strictly speaking any better than like regular food, but it's still good to have if you can like cook with it. You weirdo. Hello. My monster shop is now open for business, seeing as how you're a first-time customer here at Fang and Bone. Mon? It is Mon. A currency I invented to destabilize the market and fight the establishment. Oh, you're a libertarian! Good for you! Bitcoin. I guess. Bit Bitcoin. <laughs> just kidding. There is no establishment in Hyrule. I just love monsters so much that I turned them into money! Yeah. I'm the only business in Hyrule that accept, accepts Mon as payment. Pretty exclusive, huh? This is like company towns using their own money to like keep people dependent on them. Always developing new monster gear. Remember to check back in between your adventures. Monster gear? All right, yeah, exchange for Mon. Uh, I get. I I would like to know like what gear I can buy first. Well, you don't have the Mon to pay for it, so. Why even show all this? Just only show the monster parts. Okay, so... Well, I got a lot of chew jelly. I kind of, yeah, you... like, the monster parts are the main thing that I sell for, you know, rupees. Oh, really? Well, don't sell all of it, then. Just sell an... I'll, s I'll give you 50 chew jellies. It's three mon each, so you're getting 150 mon for it. Is that good? <laughs> don't know. I don't- I didn't really use this guy. Alright. Let me spend some mon. I've developed a new piece of monster gear. I call it the Spring-Loaded Hammer. Whack a small monster with this thing and BOING! Okay. It's- it's a high knockback, low damage weapon. Monster Extract. Oh, Monster Extract you can use to cook monster food. Wooden mop, spring load hammer. Buck, buck, wait! Boca Blue Mask! You can buy monster. You can buy monster masks! That's so cool! Being struck doesn't hurt much, but the fourth swing in a string of attacks will send the victims flying. I don't it, think it's that's a Pico useful. Pico hammer. Look, no. Buy the masks. Almost charming in a cute, monstrous kind of way. Equip it to blend in with Boca Blins. Or Moblins! You could. Dude. No, buy buy them both, <laughs> please. Designed buy them to both. replicate the Moblin's distinct long nose and large horn. It's you. You gotta be. You gotta. You can't be like Metal Gear. You can't be Metal yeah, Gear. Yeah, you're right. Like without like the crocodile mask. It's like the it, it it's like the the Metal Gear Solid Three the the crocodile hat. Mhm. Mm yeah. Snake it just is. going around in the water looking like a caiman. Are you gonna have enough for both, or do you... Yeah. Okay. That's... so rad. <laughs> Alright, bye. All right. Oh yeah, heading to Comic Con. <laughs> Do you think they'll buy this? The, the Yiga Clan? Uh, with the Yiga Clan, you're gonna—I I would recommend just your full-on sneaking snoot, uh, suit. Sneaking, sneaking snoot. I almost did it again. <laughs> God damn it! Cloud gets bigger. Gets bigger. Cloud gets bigger. He spent like five minutes on that too. It was, he did longer than that. It's like a 30-minute video. 
<laughs> Sorry, time dilation kicked in. I'll bet he did that, like, 50 times before he got the one that actually did it. Yeah, he posted that as proof of his... I saw... Okay, speaking of Blast from the Past, I remember this half... I had a half-remembered memory of Taj.0 the other day. Yeah? Where he was, like, doing an interview segment with this woman who was, like, running as a nonpartisan for president of the United States and claimed that, like, uh, that like mind and body science was fucking with her. And then she's like, I will now speak with those who have been, like, affected by mind and body sci science. And then she started, like, like verbally clanging, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I what is mind and body science? Like holistic uh, medicine? I know. I don't know what she was talking about. I. It's just. It's just. A, it's just an example about how mental health care should be available and like, and like. So, but she's got like multiple videos of it, and then, and I just was like, what the heck? I'm stealing that. But the sword? No! They need it! <laughs> They'll be back. Blood Moon will happen, eventually. What if, it's ru what if it's rusted? Oh, it's shit, never mind. It's Traveler's Claymore, yeah. It's not a, it's not a soldier gear. <laughs> Remember that scene in Logan's Run where the guy, where one of the... the the antagonist took an American flag and started swinging it around without knowing what it was. Like, with, as a weapon. Just picturing a person using, like, a, like a fucking, like, uh, show, the like, display sword and just bashing somebody in the head with it. Yep. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm telling you to use the sneaking, the, seek, the, uh, stealth suit, because, uh, because uh, like, are these you got pain to deal with? Um, it, it's the fact that once you get in the it's it's a the stealth section. Ah. Yeah. So just uh, keep that in mind. You're doing your shit. Stealth mode. Hey. Plus, it, it, it matches uh, like the dungeon, so I, that's why I like it. I like. Uh, you remember for that there was a time when, uh, when like platform, when like platformers, uh, they would have like cer like certain three D platformers would have certain levels, and like a person's outfit would change based on the level. Besides Kingdom Hearts, what are some other examples? Uh, well, I mean, I guess it's purchasable stuff, but like, uh, Mario Odyssey had that. Yeah. Um. Uh, there was that Conquer, uh, like, a uh, level where it was the Matrix parody. Yeah, Conquer, like, changed everything about its aesthetic, aesthetic per level when it came to the movie parodies. Yeah, I wish, I wish more platformers would do that. I, I know that there was a couple, and I just there was enough that I realized, hey, every everybody, every platformer should do that. I mean, it'd be more work, but it'd be so, but it'd be worth it. So there's this movie uh, called Gary. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. No. It was a film. I don't remember who made the film. I want to say Lars von Trier, uh, but I don't know if that's right. And uh, it was two people, right? And the, the whole movie is just them getting lost and wandering around a desert in America. And um, when people were, like, talking about the movie, they're like, this movie is just them just lost in the desert and nothing really exciting kind of happens in it. What, what inspired you to make this movie? And the guy's like, well, I was playing some video games and, and this is the 90s, so when we talk about video games... Yeah. I was wondering if you're going to get hit by those. We were talking about video games. We were talking about stuff like Tomb Raider. And he's like... And like, you know, Ocarina of Time. And he's just like... He's like, it's just... just You're just walking and it's just so immersive. And I just wanted to make a movie that was like... Kind of like that. And it's just like... 
and this is what it's reminding me of, just, like, the scenes of just walking. It's just, like, those moments of, of sereneness that, if it were any other medium, would be really fucking boring. But since you're, like, just exploring on your own way, it comes off as, like, kind of calm and chill. Yeah. Yeah, like those, like, those quiet moments in Tomb Raider. I guess I could have used, like, a sand seal for this. I, I, no, from the that's, sound of it... That's not stealthy! Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason why ninjas walk and, like, dash through trees, because it's quiet. We talked about this. I, I assume that you use your horse a lot more when you played this game. I do, because I, because I'm, because unlike you, I'm actually good at this game. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. Uh, no, I, I, I use the horse a lot. Um, but honestly, I, I, because I do it because it's quicker, and I just, sometimes I don't have time. What's that hissing sound? Oh, that's sand falling coarse. It's rough. What was smooth sand? Is that that's beach sand, right? Smooth like a uh, smooth sand. It's probably like very very fine sand. Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that's more dangerous cuz it gets in your eyes and can cor you get corneal abrasions. Frogs. Frogs. Oh, 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 the, oh, those. Yeah, frog statues. Frog head statues. Talking about uh, changing outfits, I watched uh, Dead Rising 2 for the first time recently. Oh, yeah? The game's a lot more sexual than Dead Rising 1. I bet. Yeah, the game's a lot more a lot of things than Dead Rising 1. Such as? It, uh, so more. I, I would consider Dead Rising 2 to be more wacky than Dead Rising 1. You think so? It did have a dildo gun. Yeah. Yeah. Dead Rising, basically, that's Capcom, right? And they own two... That's this, their second uh, zombie survival franchise. Resident Evil is the, the se more serious one. The more, like, like like play it straight. Whereas Dead Rising is the more wacky one. That's also, how I... Uh, they're pretty different. fundamentally different games, regardless oh, yeah. of, like, the like the wackiness. Yeah, one's survival horror, and the, and the other is... Hold on. And the other is, like, a, I would say a, a, horde, a horde brawler. Hey, how do you do that teleporting thing? That's cool. Let's make things... Oh, I played Dead Rising 3, um, like, at one point a long time ago, and I, I was, I liked, like, some of the weapons you could get. Hey, duplex bow, those are good. It's 28, because he shoots two arrows at once. Gotta get a good picture. I've covered wars, you know. I've covered, I've covered war. God, imagine like uh, I, I I have stupid fucking ideas quite a bit, and I just think of like all you all you have are knights bows. Well, they're good bows. Yeah, they look good big bows. number. Number be big. Steel is alpha. Oh wow! I didn't nice. like the the triple bow because it sent them at like a spread, so more times than oh. not, you wouldn't hit all of them. It's good if you got a if you got bomb arrows, then you can have like a shotgun, like uh, you can shotgun them. Up, oh, more of them. I, I heard a very cartoony like swinging weapon around sound effect. Uh, I barely even using like the the stamina stuff. I oh, I mean, it's oh, I must have been in, like a fire area. We fight now. Ow. Imagine this in Naruto. Character just fucking runs past the enemy. Does not acknowledge the taunts or anything. Just, no, I'm leaving. This isn't my mission. Bye. This isn't my mission. <sighs> What's going on? Oh, hey. Oh, another one. Should I get yeah. two? Uh, I don't know. I, I barely use bows anyway, who cares? Uh, do I have to beat the guys in order to, like, open doors or something? Unknown? Um, maybe you could, should. Wait, so oh, they're gone. Oh, there's a torch. Alright. It wants me to burn stuff. Wait! Is he back? Wait, hold on, you got- you got fire swords, just use those. I do, yeah. Just, like, Did hit. they give up? They're like, guys! Guys, he's ignoring us! He's nope, not fighting back! back. Alright. I thought I, I thought they just like gave up and left. 
Why do they got a lot of bananas? Here's the problem, though. Like, I can't aim this up. No, I don't want to throw it. Uh... There's also that torch. Yeah, there we go. Aimless weapon. Come on! Dude! Just... How about you just take a bow, like, shoot through... Okay. I forget. When when you have an idea, you're going to go hell or high water to, like, do it, even Look, if it's... arrows are valuable, okay? That shit's expensive. <laughs> I found so many fucking meteor rods. And they regenerate, huh? Every blood moon, you just get more. It's free. Literally true. There you go. That's Wait, the. Wait, uh, regrow? Well, I guess I'll not. take. Daddy. Bats! Leave me alone. I got one more thing to burn down. You get caught in the crossfire. Oh, there's more of you. Okay. I'm caught up in it. Just flail wildly. Who cares? Don't love the combat in this game. You've mentioned that multiple times. Oh, sorry. The, the combat... <laughs> no, it's, it's just... It's weird because I don't mind the combat in this game. But then again, I've played a lot of Dark Souls and that's what that reminds me of, so... The torch is lit. The torch is lit. Vicious sickle. Vicious. What an out of place character for Cowboy Bebop. Oh, the uh, the cowboy? No, vicious. Or... Oh, He's like yeah. a deviant art fan fiction character in an otherwise very like relatively serious show. It's funny. Well, it's, and, and also, he pulls it off. Kill the bats, get the things, sell them to get mods, to get mon. Maybe I can get a keys, like, mask. Maybe I can blend in with keys. Flap, flap. Flap, flap. I'm what are you. Screeches in confusion. Is that more rupees? Technically. Sapphire! Cool, you can sell that. That was probably my favorite line in Jackie Chan Adventures. Valmont just, like, uh, he takes off his shoes and jumps into a river. Uncle immediately walks up. I can sell these! <laughs> Steals them. I can sell these. Yeah. Well, I mean, it couldn't have happened to a nicer person. Oh, look. It's... Oh, no, those bananas. That's not... That's okay. not an ancient artifact. Hello? Alright, so, once again, I will... Hey, it's uh, Barta. This is the hideout of those Yiga thieves who stole the Thunder Helm. If they spot you, they'll call your friend. Nope, nope, they won't spot me. I'm stealthy. I'm sneaky. Mm. All I ever see them do is patrol and eat bananas. I haven't seen anything else that you could exploit as a weakness. Why bananas? It's it's nature's snack. Look, they're packaged. They're very convenient. Sneaky. Oh. They got jewels. What is this, like ninja sutras? Perhaps. Again, be very, very quiet. Yeah, you, um, this is the, this is a stealth mission. I'm just letting you know that now, because you're gonna die if you, if you... Oh, what? I guess I've already started. Yeah. Well, I it's don't, fine. I game, don't see any... Oh. auto saves multiple times, so... Oh, what? you don't see me. I was gonna say, I don't see any Yiga. They're stealthy. He's dressed kinda like, a. Uh, 
He reminds me of Skull Kid, his attire. Oh god, he's coming right for you! Can I just kill him? I mean, I don't know, you could try. I wouldn't... <laughs> I mean... We're doing the, like, the Hyrule Castle guards. Alright, do you your square patrol. Is this how you patrol? You just walk in a perfect square and, like, never turn around or anything? Is this what you do every day? No, I I don't. I just kind of walk and I observe. And, I'm, and I just listen. So you would say that you would be a more successful, like, castle security guard than uh, the, the Hyrule soldiers or the Yiga clan? Uh, I mean, if unless somebody was, like, a literal ninja. And, like... You wouldn't let a uh, a kid, like, garbed in metal, screaming as he rolls past you. You'd, you'd probably no, notice I would, that. I would, hear, I would hear the screaming in the rolls, yes. Those are so quiet. Yeah. Do you gonna, know, like, uh, look away or anything? Do I need to make oh, a distraction? Yeah, distraction. Yeah, I, I need to, to like do do the clang, like 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 solid, like snakeus. Well, uh, well, it's clang, but you know what? What's their favorite food again? This is dumb. This is gonna be <laughs> dumb if this works. They explicitly. I know they did, but. Oh, you're not. You're uh... not hiding. I, I didn't. I didn't. Wasn't aware that I could like hold an item and also crouch. Okay. Whatever. Whatever you. Whatever you say. Oh, I'm gonna lose my broadsword. All right. Well, he's he's pretty buff, but I can take him. Yeah. Uh. uh you know what? I'm gonna use my big fiery sword because I haven't used that yet. You you you're special, Mister. Where'd he go? Ooh, banana. That was... Is that different? Oh, no. Yeah, they threw a banana to try to get me. <laughs> now, where did it last save? Because it didn't let me save. Yeah, I wonder probably. when the last point I would have been able to save was. The autosaves are very generous. They're not going to, like, intentionally fuck you over, I don't think. Yeah, not, not too far back. Ooh, banana. Hey, uh, it's me, I was... No, yeah, it's... I, know, I know, lady. What, how? Oh, you didn't get the opal this time. Return to the past, now. And they always know what's gonna happen. How are they so cool? <laughs> Man, the fact that they didn't trust Sissy ever again was, like... Was, like, kind of dick, because... Can we just say that, like, that, like, Sissy was, like, the nicest, like, like, uh... Mean girl character? Bitch. Yeah, she was the nicest mean girl character because she was mean, but it, it was understandable. Talking about, uh, Code Lyoko. It, the main characters in that show were not that likable, to be honest, yeah. but, but it, it was, like, funny for its own reasons anyway. Yeah, the, they weren't that likable, but at the same time... They were they weren't too they weren't terrible people. Yeah. They were just they were they it's were a they weird were... reversal where like the main characters were the cool click at the school. And I and guess... like the, the mean girl was the one who was like always excluded from their group. And she just wanted yeah. to be a part of it. The scars run too deep. And it was it's crazy because they for from their perspective. No, I, can't. It, I can't. I can't crouch and hold at the same time. Okay, so how are they Wait! I got it. Set the banana down in front of you. And then... Or, okay, that works too. Do that. Did I distract him? Uh, no, that one didn't have a banana on it. It's like a puzzle. Missed. I'm wasting arrows. There, you got it. No. Is that really gonna... No? Hey, look, banana! Banana time! 
Darn. Wait. Can you can you use your <laughs> what? Can, can you use your uh, your one of your like uh, tablet powers to like to like stun him and then and then move behind him while he's stunned while he's like in stasis? Tablet powers? I... Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, oh, use your okay, use yeah, yeah. Use your Giga Slate to. Uh... Pretty sneaky, sis. That's yeah. I just realized that this game. I like how well, this feels like this cheating. Game. Imagine, imagine Ocarina Link had this. <laughs> it's like when Hit was like infiltrating that building in his universe to like carry out like a Hit. Zawarudo. Yeah, it's that, but for a specific person. We are uh, four episodes away from finishing part five, so soon we will be able to argue with Darian about how King Crimson works. Again? Oh no, we did that with the uh, with Sauce, with yeah. Sauce. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one's the more involved one. I don't see anybody. That means they can't see me. Yeah, if I if I can't see them, they can't see me unless they're invisible. Ooh, banana! You can cook with bananas. We're gonna we're gonna rob their banana horde. They have a funky a fucky fucking Donkey Kong banana horde. It's so great. I I love this dungeon. This this I'm considering this a dungeon. It's as much a dungeon as like uh, the Gerudo Fortress. Alright, what's in there? More bananas? Oh, topa topaz. Is this a trap if I, like, get out of sneak? I don't know. Nobody's there. And besides, even even while, like, you're not sneaking around, your, your, uh, your stealth meter is still, like, pretty high, so... This is... I'm gonna use the K-Rule tactic. I'm gonna take all their food and leave. I'm gonna try to starve them out of the land. <laughs> I, man, I remember. Ter Did you see Terminal Montage? Is uh, like uh, something about Donkey Kong Country? Uh, no. That was great. <laughs> Donkey Kong. <laughs> it was. It, fo it follows like the plot, but he does it in his like standard style. And uh, it's great because he because like when he gets to like the uh, the factory world he sees it and then and then he animates the donkey kong like free like head freaking out in like a hilarious way it's just it's, what with like the monkey screeching it's, it's just it's great what that's not a good idea bro oh what were you thinking well, i was going for their blind spot Get my fire what a sword, I guess. Dumb fucking maneuver. I'm sorry. That was that was not a good idea yeah. in like the slightest. Look, I hit him. Look, he hurting. Yeah. Okay. Well, they're they're they have one hit kill abilities, so be careful. Ooh, stuff. Yeah, precious jewels. And you can't leave unless until you kill them all. So. Oh, they have like what well, they have like Getsuga Tensho too. Yeah. <sighs> I thought that was the solution. I don't know what to tell you. I. I you don't know what to tell me. You don't know what to think either. Apparently. Guess I'll have to go back and try something else, Skipper. Oh, but what about me? Oh, you can just... There is, like, a better idea of where you can fly down. Yeah, there you go. I just, like, love the idea of just jumping into the middle of the room, but you do it quietly without noticing who around you could, like... I did. I paid very close attention to who was around well, me. That's why I went is when that, I is went. That you, you, 
Well, the thing is, you did that, but rather, but you didn't like immediately hide when you landed. You just kind of were just flying down. You stood, and then people were noticing you, and you just kind of just stood there twiddling your thumb. Well, I was trying like, to make sure that I crouched before I moved, but I failed. I mean, you're already like pretty stealthy even without crouching. That's why. That's what the full suit is for. If you want to be like ultra super super stealthy, you could like you could have made like some like stealth stuff as well some stealth things and just pile that on top to make yourself like like the stealthiest of stealthy slink rocking a uh, sweet hair bun yeah the hair hitting your shoulder is is noise that you get it's the ultimate stealth hey you know what link is able to do here that he wasn't able to do in uh are you not going to go for the bananas again? Oh, I guess they respawned, yeah. Yeah, banana yeah. farm! I could farm jewels down here, too, I guess. Does it keep... Check check your... check your. Uh, you had 11. I remember seeing that last time. 11 what? 11 bananas. Yeah, 11. So it didn't save the, uh, the bananas. Because it saved at the beginning. I guess they figured it'd, oh, be, I guess... it'd be too easy if you could save in the middle of the stealth section. Yeah. Do or... I need to be stealthy up here? I don't think so. Yeah, if you run like that, then then you're like, then it's more obvious. But if you just kind of like walk slightly slower, then it's not as bad. This was the jewel. This was a it was to topaz. it was topaz. Yeah. That was that uh, that strong uh, that strong like battle crazy woman from Steven Universe, right? Uh, no, that was Jasper. Okay. Topaz was like uh, the little blue magic one brought a topaz on her spaceship, and she was like really square and quiet. Oh, okay. But really sensitive on the inside. Was Amethyst the only one of her kind? I forget. Uh, there were other amethysts, but they were they all were just like she was the defective one because she was, you know, small. Yeah. Which she didn't it's really cool. have a whole lot of an arc in that show. I guess uh, like Garnet didn't either. Yeah, well, Garnet's arc was tied to uh, to Ruby, and what was it? it was Ruby Sapphire. and Sapphire? Yeah, it was. Tied to their arcs. I'd like to see camera, please. Y'all just walk in circles around your house all day? That doesn't sound very exciting. I wonder if you can distract him with an arrow shot. I, I think I've tried that. I don't know if it worked. Probably a bomb arrow shot. That would just put everybody on high alert immediately. Probably. Oh, nope, I didn't want to do that! You were supposed uh, to get the... Not throw the barrel, Link. Somehow they didn't notice that. <laughs> Did you, were you hitting A repeatedly? No. Oh. There you go. Got the jewels. I do like I do like the combat. I don't I don't like the fact that some like enemies that some enemies uh, Oh, he's going to you. Oh. Oh no. Just, just go. Just go. He's gonna go back on his regular patrol route. I know. I'm trying to watch for the other one's like route so he doesn't see me. Okay. What? Who else is? I thought he was going in a square, but I guess he's not. He's just going back and forth. I guess so. No, he is going a square, kind of. Going in that kind of square, I. Very sneaky. Stealth. There's a ladder there. I think that's where you go. 
maybe or that that be risky though. Yeah. If you like fucked it up, so. Nope. Oh, somebody noticed you. Ah. Okay, so I assume I'm probably going to that door because that's what locks when they notice me. Yeah. We're gonna fight in the rafters, motherfuckers! Nope. Oh, wow, that's a lot of... Ooh, bananas. Yeah, so that is, I presume, the gate I need to go through. Yeah. Oh, what's in there? There's, I'm, I'm on recon now. I'm just seeing what's in the room. You could, I mean, you could kill them, probably. If you, if you fought hard, hard enough. This is just a dead end. There's nothing down here. Nope. Ow! How did that not... Ah! <laughs> Beware, fool, the eye of the Yiga. Yeah, this is the room you really don't want to fuck up in. Because if you fuck up in here, then, then it's just like it's over. If only I had a cardboard box to hide in, and then they would see the box and think, well, no, I guess the alarm was a false alarm. Let's just dis disable all the alarms again. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it matters what ar how much armor you have on. They'll just kill you instantly. Aren't you gonna help me? Why you just ignore me, you fool? Wait. Try, since you're in the beginning, and it is what it is, just, like, just try to do a sneak attack on him. You can do that on some enemies. Like, not, it's not, like, with an arrow, crit, but just, like, with a sword out. Just, like, sneak up behind him, and then just, like, just... Just do, like, a stealth attack. With the edge of duality. Who's there? Nobody. That's who. I'm I'm not here. Maybe if you like leave a banana in their patrol route and then that would be easier. Does that work? Is that like the porno I... mags? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe 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 using the bananas a whole lot would be would be more effective way to get through that uh, that room. I don't think I'm going to make it around in time. We picked up the banana. Yeah. I don't think he, he didn't, like, stop to eat it at length. So it's it's there, and it, and it works somewhat for a little bit. Nope, not here. It, it's way too much effort to successfully sneak up behind them. Yeah. There you go. Well... That's a shame. Careful, the, the other guy's gonna probably stick up behind you. Oh, he's not dead. Are the legendary swordsman of Hyru Hyrule? <laughs> I, I just, thought I could like interrupt his attack. I'm gonna, I can't. I'm going to. Ta I'll just take this sword and. I, I can't. I, you're overthink. I, I'm gonna say this now. You're overthinking it when it comes to combat. I've seen you play enough that I that I'm. I guarantee you, you're just. Well, you're like just overthinking every single move you make. Just. The, I do combat by just like, just like hitting them, dodging their swings, and then hitting them again. Yeah, see the dodging part. That's what I'm not doing. Yeah, you just well clearly you're not even making an effort. And the two times I've seen you die, you just or get heavily injured. You just stand there, you and you, you just wait for their wind up. I don't even give them a chance to see. Okay, they're obviously gonna miss me. I just I just preemptively dodge. I oh. Are you just you're you're gonna kill him to prove a point now? No, I just I, I fucked up that time. I got impatient. You fucked that? What are you? <laughs> you just walk. 
I did the same thing again. Well, he's not attacking. I guess I should attack. Dark, you would you would just die repeatedly on the same like intro boss on Dark Souls, and you throw the controller down in disgust and go and go. This game sucks. Doesn't cater to my to my lack of skill. Therefore, it is bad. I'm, I'm still not thinking about this like Dark Souls. I'm thinking about it like Zelda. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's... What'd you say that this wasn't a Zelda game? Why yeah. are you still thinking about it like Zelda if you yeah. know it's not a Zelda game? You're right. Eyes on the... Get with the program! Oh, wait wait till he fully turns the corner and then I can come it out. Is a, it is a different game with Zelda puzzles and, that, and, like, Zelda characters and that's about it. I have accepted this and I... Which, you know what? I think this game itself foreshadows it with uh, with Zelda's character arc. Foreshadows what? The the way the game is. You'll you'll f you'll figure it out late, like as 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 we go. There's a there's a little like trill in the music there that sounds like Yoshi. Yeah, a little bit. I, I uh. Oh, you can use stasis on those guards uh, down there too. Yeah. Just to like, just just to give yourself more time. I mean, you can't like spam it considering it's got like a like a not an insignificant cooldown, but it still would be better than just like. Okay. I wonder, can you get up? Oh, you can, you can, I just think you can get up to the rafters. Yeah, and just, and just sneak above. You don't even need to go down there. I mean, you'd be missing out on those gems, but, like, rupees, just, you can just farm rupees, like, every which way, so you don't really need to, like. They are high-risk gems. Yeah, they're high-risk. Um, I'd say, I'd say go above. At the same time, I feel like they probably are gonna try to account for that. Do you, th I, do you think I, I can, don't... like, climb on that tower? Is that what you're thinking? I climb on the tower, yeah, and then just go over above to where the, uh, to where the exit is, and then... There. That is the acceptable way to use that, uh... Are they not allowing you to... Oh. Well, that's not good. Can't climb up. Or can you? Uh-oh. Who's coming? Who's where? Who's somewhere. that guy's there? I gotta hide. Remember, you got your uh, you got the stasis. You can use that to like buy yourself some time if uh, shit goes wrong. So you're right; they did account for it. They put a lip, and unless you get like, wait, you got the high jump. I do. You, you think I should just, like, there. high jump up there? Yeah, I use the high jump to get up there. <gasps> nope, not here. I'm not here. You already got that, right? From Sly Cooper. No. Well, yes, from Sly we Cooper. You used it a but... lot in Sly Cooper, but... Yeah, so I, I think... What was it? You said that, or I said that first? I don't remember. Okay, so it, there's this game, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, and, like, uh, you, you play as a guy who... Uh, who gets turned into a vampire and he has to navigate like vampire clicks and shit in uh in uh I think LA. And uh but you get you get your choice of like multiple bloodlines. There you go. You did it. Good job. Hey, where did Just that check. giant column of wind come from, you guys? Did it's we make that? Important. It's not important. There's probably a draft. So, uh, so a lot of them are, like, standard, like, disciplines, but one of them is, like, Mal is, like, Malkavian, and, uh, if you play as Malkavian, you, the, the people in the Malkavian have, like, have, like, genius and madness are one and the same to them, so you play as them, they say shit, and one of, and rather than saying goodbye, a Malkavian player character says, I'm not here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and one person, like, at one point goes up to him. And says, "Hey, do I know you?" And he goes, "And he goes, 
You know, who are you talking to? I'm not here. And then they just were like, oh, I guess you're not. It's it's great. Oh, there's a guy down there. You can uh, stasis him and then uh, and just sneak down. And then just jump down. Okay, go. Stealth 100. So that right. feels like King Crimson, right? He just he doesn't know why he wasn't aware for a couple seconds. It, it, oh, this King Crimson is just a fancy way they just put people in stasis, and then. Okay, is that the? Uh... Wait, is this not where we're supposed to go? It's awfully conspicuous. There's also a thing over there. Would that be being greedy if I go for that? There's nobody here. Oh, it's just another Sorry. bow. It's just another duplex bow. Don't 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 worry about it. Duplex bows are good because because they allow you to like use the same arrow twice, which is good if you use like like bomb arrows. It was bananas. It's it a trap. Bananas. No. Okay, so then I guess this isn't the place you got to go. Where is the place you got to go? They wouldn't have had this like heavily guard. This is where the gate closes if you get caught. So this has to be the place. Unless that was a that was a misdirection by the game. There has to be another. If only it was brighter. Holy shit! Is it bright for you? It's visible. So. So what Link, do you think please. is Link's? So what do you think is Link's sexiest outfit in this game? Because uh, I've seen fan art of both uh, Gerudo Link and then uh, and then uh, Chica Ninja Link. There's the 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 one without a back isn't until Tears of the Kingdom. Oh uh, yeah. So, so I'm guessing in this game it's probably uh, I don't know. I, I... I don't think it's in this room. I think you gotta go back out and, uh... You snuck into the leader's, like, bedroom. And you're setting it on fire! Well, that didn't do anything. Oh, wait. Well, hmm. Ooh! I didn't even think of that. Open. Open Callaway. Topaz. Hey, Jules. Hey, Hello. It coming in here. I see a, I see oh, a wall. Oh, yeah. There you go. So the, ch so the chest was a ruse to... Uh... Ha ha ha! Secret ninja passageway. I think you've done this in your game, haven't you? Yeah, I, th I I forgot that the wall was there. So yeah, next up, um, yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but uh... Sarlacc pit. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Fat Ega. Who the heck are you? And what are you doing in my napping spot? Is that just Jiraiya? It's evil Jiraiya. That thing on your hip, is that? Could it be a Sheikah slate? It's you! You're that Link guy I've been looking for! My scouts are out in the field looking high and low, but you just wander into my hideout. So you're the boss. You're you're tougher than all those dudes with the one hit KO attacks, right? Yeah, well, he's tougher, but not necessarily stronger. I am the leader of the Yiga clan. Oh yeah, what's your name? The strong, the boily, the one, the only. I am Koga of the Wolf Koga. Tribe. <laughs> he's doing the yo yo. Okay. All right, welcome to boss. Yeah, cue the uh, cue the wacky Japanese music. Can you use the you break it? On him. Yes. Don't He's ask got... me how to beat this guy. It's been a while since I fought him. He's got ninja barriers. 
and he is only only drops the barriers when he's about to attack. Yeah, which means arrows maybe. Yeah, you're gonna have to use arrows. He's gonna throw them up there, and then you're gonna shoot him. And then now you're gonna go up and set his ass him. on fire. No, oh, except my it doesn't work. Ass. All right. Edge of duality. Okay. He didn't like that. Over. He's pissed. He's now... I'll do this now. I trained for this. I fought Iblis. Ah. Uh, did I get it? No, I, did. I missed. Yeah, so... I don't need to right use there. arrows on this. Uh, I guess I should. Wait, what were you going to do instead? I was going to use my uh, meteor rod, but then I remembered the projectiles bounce. They don't, like, fly straight. Yeah. That's going to be this. No, it hit. Cool. I'm trying to lead them more than I need to. This feels like a Zelda boss. Yeah. I don't think it's the most uh, Zelda boss in this game, though. Or maybe it is? I don't know. This is definitely not a Dark Souls boss. No, Dark Souls bosses are just are mostly just hit it until it die until they die and it dodge their attack patterns. Okay, what do we do now? Oh! Use the use use your No you. No! You missed. I wonder if I could have arrowed him in that time. Perhaps. <laughs> Look how he just looked these like, no! I'll try it again. Oh, you didn't need to. It was too slow? Did... No, you didn't need to. It did a lot of damage on its own. Oh, can I just, like, smack him? I don't even need to drop it on him. No, you don't. I'd be done in like this and by this guy of all people. You think I'm just gonna let this stand? Do you? What a pain. I can't go out this way. What to do? What to do? I got it! Oh, yeah? What's your plan? Me. <laughs> One piece laugh. Yeah. Did the standard. Need to bust out my serious moves. A secret technique taught my by my father's mother's father. My father's mother's father. All right, break, breaking up the patriarchy. I, I can appreciate it. For one generation. Yeah. He's gonna summon bigger ball. Maybe it's just a tad too big. Are you still over there? Pretty soon you'll be gone, not just from my line of sight. Only the leader of the Yiga clan can use this secret technique. It is the ultimate! Thank you, John St. John, for voicing the leader of the Yiga clan. Yo! I wonder if they're still doing the Duke Nukem movie, and how different he's gonna sound. I don't know. They got John St. John to do Postal Guy in Postal 4, along with the other two Postal voice actors. Hey, you got the Thunderhelm! Great. Cool, you bet. We should probably, like, go free that lady too, right? Yeah, somehow. That's why you should have talked with her. Maybe there's... if you go... hmm... Rip. There's, oh, there's probably... <laughs> Can I say I now? Think, probably, yeah. There's probably a... Either you go back the way you came, or you just go... 
Or you just go up top? I think there's like maybe a uh, a shrine up there you can use. You can just solve quickly and then just uh, you have like a waypoint. Oh, it's too cold. Better better change your clothing. You ever like want to mix and match like outfits? Eh. It'd be it'd be nice to be able to, but this game really discourages you from doing it. Which is a shame. <gasps> Wait. What? That's a that's a, maybe a skeletal moblin, but it's still a moblin. Put on the hat. But he's already seen me. Also, it's cold. Oh, yeah. I'm one of you. Ignore me. No, he, he, he's not fooled. Damn. Ow. Yeah, there's a grind nearby. Bone, thug, thugs in army. Uh, where, where, hold on, turn, turn around and see if you, see, find the direction of it. I was looking like, for arrows. Those guys oh. are free arrow supply. Uh, oh, is the shrine sh showing up on our radar? It was showing up on the detector. Somewhere. Not, like, I don't think it was back there. I think it was, okay. Uh, I did, I say, like, I, a full circle while I was up there, and it didn't re respond. Maybe, maybe you just were out of range. It was, it was, it, detect it popped when you were close to the, to the Moblin, when you were fighting it. Okay. Okay, so it's up the it's so it's up there. It's up you could just climb up it. You have enough oh. stamina that you could okay. There's a treasure chest. Also, this is like the exit point of the of the dungeon. I want to see if there's like anything that they would direct us to around here. Okay. Ambush. You're you're already so like tired. <laughs> I'm not I just I I I just I'm like we're going in the direction of the shrine. It's fine. I'm keeping an eye on it. I guess I just like to climb is all. I just like, right, let's climb. Or maybe it's a different shrine that it's leading us to. I don't know. Then again, last time I did, I just climbed over something. I missed uh, the uh, the very important uh, Korok, giant Korok that... Uh... It... Again, it's more efficient to just straight up climb than like... Uh, I know it is, jumping. it's also slow as shit. <laughs> God, take your time. Take it easy. I got shit to do. I got a kingdom to save. Gotta take it. Slow ride, man. Take it easy. Oh, hello. Oh, hey. Use. Wait, use your. Those oh, are. What? Are the Bokoblins or Moblins? Are they. Those are Los oh, Alphos. Los... Okay. Shit. I'm surprised that they would thrive in this kind of weather. Being lizards and all. They got weapons, they got firewood. It's probably that big block of ice up there. That's where the, uh... Those wizards? Yeah, they got yeah, wizards. Wiz robes. I got these ones. You have not, it seems like. Quit 
dancing and come meet me. You're gonna you're gonna you're going to aggro them. Yeah, who cares? They're not a threat. Luminous stone. That's the stuff that I'm supposed to collect. Oh, for uh, for someone else. Well, that was the stuff that you told me that I shouldn't sell. Oh yeah. Have they really not noticed me? I think they are. They're just terrible at like attacking you. Yeah. Oh. oh, do I have to melt the ice to get inside? Yeah. You got fire arrows. Uh, you could light a like a campfire, and then you don't have any wooden weapons, do you? Okay, you can do that too. Oh, you're you're gonna aggro them off, or just stand near them with the weapon. Yeah, just stand near it, and then it'll melt. Oh, great. Or is it? Is it working? It seemed like it, maybe it was. I was gonna get like between the walls so they'll bounce around a lot. Alright, do that then. Maybe it only works from one side, because it looked like it was melting for a second. Or maybe the wizard whiz robes are like keeping it from melting. You guys you guys shoot them down. Maybe. Alright. These guys just don't give a fuck. If only I had a way to, like, aim up with uh, the, the the wand. You're going to use your limb... Okay. Well, what do you suggest? My regular just, arrows? Just use, yeah, just regular arrows. What uh, what am I saving fire arrows for? I don't know. <laughs> Zel Zelrog, I just... I see a number that low, and I just... My, I, my lips, my palms sweat, and I start convulsing. Acknowledge me! <laughs> you play like you. Instant death! Come on. Are oh, you scared? You see what I did to your friend? hiding. He knows. Okay, uh... <sighs> <laughs> you... You suck! Now I got him. There he goes. See? Look, now I can cast ice and magic. That is why I did not. You, you utter clown. And now I can melt it. Isn't this relaxing? Ice rod kind of useless because ice doesn't actually deal damage to enemies; it just freezes them. Yeah, he'd use stasis and achieve the same thing. God, this is slow. You could have shot it with a fire arrow. Oh wait, you used them all. I got one Because you more. didn't didn't lead the target. I tried, did my best. <laughs> you think that absolves you? I can buy more. The Gerudo sell them. Oh yeah, you're right. But you need those rupees to fund uh, the uh, the fairies like. Uh, Restoration efforts. Okay, you know what? Do you have firewood? I do. Would you think that'd be faster? I think so, yeah. Just set it down and, like, use the rod to light it. Eat. Eat wood. Oh, I have the to cook it first. The fact that you're willing to eat wood proves that you need serious psychological help. Is that any faster? No, it, well, maybe. Do both at once. Yeah. Man, in Ocarina Why of Time. Why is it so slow? Use the fire sword. In Ocarina of Time, I'd just sword. use one, like, one arrow, one bow, and it'd be done. I don't think it's it significantly working. speeding it up. Uh, it drained. Uh 
Simply using it doesn't like drain doesn't like drain its HP, does it? Mm hmm. Okay, kind of goes. What the fuck, game? Where's the entrance? It's up front. We've only melted oh, the back. God damn it. Yeah, the wizards really just were like one, just like fuck this place. Do do, do they want you to drop more? More firewood? Yeah, just more firewood. Just, pl just place like several and then. What else are you gonna use it for? Two, three, four, five. Okay. Hotter! Hotter! mean <laughs> it's like it's like when they were trying to melt uh what's his face from uh oh good it finally broke <laughs> it's like when they were trying to melt uh the that prince from thumbelina when he got frozen i don't remember which which thumbelina the 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 best one like from a from a uh, animation standpoint, the Don Bluth one. <laughs> now the the I what we, we think is like the most uh, in your opinion like the uh, the most the the most entertaining one. Uh Wait, I was fired down here and it didn't affect the up up top. I guess I guess the Don Bluth one. Like, I, I, I got lots of ironic entertainment out of the other one, the one that came first. Oh, the, you're talking about the, the one where it was Thumbelina, but it wasn't, like, anything about Thumbelina. It was just, like, a woman who happened to be, like, small, and then she got kidnapped, and it's like, Hey, yeah, it's your daughter in a flower! And the one with the bird, Hello, Thumbelina, I am here to aid you on your quest. And then, Thumbelina, are you asleep? Closed door. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Okay. But it, th I, this is, is this I puzzle so he... obtuse that it had to like have text? Oh, I guess I shouldn't have my my fire yeah. weapon out. Yeah. Do I have it's... any ice ones? I I still do. Yeah. Use the uh, use use the great frost blade. Does it? Now will that increase its size? Don't think it will. Oh. Keep away. I think you already failed. You're gonna have to wait for it to respawn. I th or wait, is the Gronk Frost Blade gonna counteract the fire and keep it cold? And keep it from melting? <laughs> uh. Hmm. Yep. Throw it and then let it slide. No, that's not gonna work. Or... I'm worried if I do this, it'll, like, hurt it. Oh, it's gonna go up. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, well. Maybe if it was, uh... Oh! That worked! Did, did I do it? Did I win? Uh... Jump across. That seemed, like too obvious. Like, I was supposed to do something? I guess not. It's a good thing metal doesn't melt. I like this. This puzzle seems fun. I like this puzzle. It is kind of, like, made trivial because of the, how the frost blade works, though. I, I, I guess maybe the frost blade is affecting this. Uh, hmm. don't go too far, cause then, then it might. Okay. What's that? What's in here? Is that that's optional? That's gonna be like a treasure chest or something. Yeah, probably. You go for it if you want, but you're gonna, probably gonna have to reset the puzzle. Oh no, there's a ladder. Never mind. Oh great. Hey! 
I get two better versions of this. I think there's a you can just go out the opposite way. Yeah. And then just climb the ladder. It's a good thing that despite the fire, this room is at uh, 32 degrees, and thus the ice will remain in its stasis. So the problem is that, uh, yeah, so... Idea, it'd be like I have to like very quick on the trigger to uh, undo magnesis and then stasis. Well, okay, no, because because of how stasis works, you can just prime the shot and then lift him up. I can but stasis just, just... into magnesis. Yeah, you can use st no, you can stasis the. Uh... Oh, okay, yeah, and I see what you mean. Now, uh... so there must be something else for me to do here. Yeah, look around. Is there a switch? Wait! Hold on! Hold on! What? I was gonna say, could, could you stasis the, uh... Because you need to offer the block of ice to that. You need to bring the block of ice up there. So that's why it's not gonna work. So what I'm thinking, then, either you fling it above like the fire. Oh, you're you, you. What? Either you fling it above the the fire using the stasis, and that's how you get the block of ice up there, or you use stasis on the fire trap. Whoops. There's a there's a ladder. Just go down and like go in like uh. Oh no, you can't do that. Alright. Well... Sh I hope I didn't just crush the block of ice. It's ice. It's durable. No, oh, see, it's right there. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm thinking what you need to do is you need to just uh, put the ice like on the ramp and then just fling it above the fire trap. What do you mean? Put the ice on the ramp. Put the ice. Okay, so you so you see, there's a go back, go back, move back. Yeah, see that ramp? Just put just put the ice like on the top where it's still level, and then you go down a little bit, and you just fling the ice up above the trap. Up above the yeah, yeah right above there. Uh, that a seems very difficult and probably unintended. Uh, well... I imagine there's a much easier way to do this. Maybe if I just, like, <laughs> line, line up the camera first? There's a much easier way to do this. Continues to do the, the, the well, fucking... I'm thinking, okay? It's like, it's like watching Taskmaster all over again. What if I get directly under it? The problem is I can't really, like, move the camera while doing this. I'm about to die, aren't I? Oh no, I'm fine. That way is not going to work. There must be something other than what you said that they intend us to do. Probably, but... I de but... I don't want to have to do all the previous parts again, because this, like, fails. Also, it's gonna slide. Okay, you wanted uh, that just the top, I mean, yeah. Yeah, just the top, not on the ramp. Of course, it's ice. It's gonna slide. I'm not. I'm not dumb. And I know you're not dumb. I'm just saying. You think? Okay. I think this is a dumb idea, but I'll try it. Uh, what, it's the only idea I, I got. I can't think of anything else. More. More. Oh, it shattered. Wait, what? No, it didn't shatter. It just fell Got down. Got smaller. Hmm. 
Maybe it needs to be a certain size so it can tank being through the fire? No. Well, because Link can't tank being through the fire. He gets launched back. Okay. <sighs> if there were water under it, then we could, like, create an ice platform or something, but... Can you use Kyronesis on the ice that's already there to make it bigger? Ice get bigger. No. Darn. Uh, you want me to look up the solution? It seems uh, kind yeah. of... I don't know what else to try. Or maybe you use... You set it in front of it, and then you just uh, punt the ice while you hold it up, and then using uh, the... Yeah, that's what you need to do. You you set the ice down in front of like where you intend to lift the uh, the metal. You set uh, you set up uh, the uh, where's the ice? There it is. Yeah, you set it up so that uh, so that it's in front of the uh, of where uh, yeah where you're gonna lift. What do you mean? And then, punt it. Yeah, using uh, using uh, stasis. You just set the stasis. You you get the momentum so it slides under. Okay, I see where, what you're saying. Yeah, that's that's what you do. And then you, you you hold it up the way you did when you got through the first time. Oh, it's too small now. I think you missed. Yeah, you missed. It's gonna melt. Well, the idea is sound. If it wasn't so small, then... Logically, I should be able to make it bigger with the cryosis. Yeah. You might need to just start over from scratch and get, just start with... Because you, you fucked yourself by holding the hot blade. No, well, no, it, did, it got too small because we did your dumb idea of flinging it over. You know, if you just... It can respawn if you just, like, fucking... If you just fucking, like, throw it in the fire, you just do it all over again, like... There you go. Jeez. My dumb idea. Like... I'd so suggested the first one, you're like, no, I, I don't want to do it, and they're like, okay, the other, other, only other option is the other way. Your thing was to do some kind of ultra complicated. Okay, I'm gonna hover this and then stasis it up there, which I, I don't, don't think seemed logical. <laughs> Take your ice, Bob. It was, it was literally more impossible than than me than just flinging it over there. At least the other way would have been cooler if it did work. Meanwhile, he's just sitting in a jail cell. Gee, I wonder where that uh, Hylian fella went. There he is! Resurrection Bob. Dun, 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 dun. One more, and that's another heart. And where are you at now? Two, four, six, eight, ten hearts? Nine. Uh, yes. You'll We're at nine ten. right now. I have to farm rupees between streams. I gotta unlock that other fairy fountain. Not that it really matters, because I already don't have enough, like, of anything to upgrade any equipment. Yeah. Uh, we're quite away from that hideout. Do you think, like, it, like, automatically let her out? Is she just back at the Gerudo village now? Uh... I don't know if if you go back and say, "Hey, she still hasn't back," and then you might need to just go back and like save her. At least you got like fast travel, kind of. Hey, wolf. There was <sighs> prime wolf. meat. It's uh, meat, and then prime meat, and then a third one. Gourmet meat or something? Gourmet? What? What's gourmet? Yeah, I've got you already. Oh, I should probably, like, get a weapon out. You guys get the fire sword. 
Oh, they got me. Get out of here. Wolf. J.B. Blanc is an underrated voice actor. He was, uh, uh, what does he do? Komamura. And uh, oh. he does a really good voice for, like, a uh, puppet dude in Shippuden. Nice. Oh, uh, you, uh, Konkuro? Sasori. Oh, okay. Who Konkuro fights. Sasori? I thought he, I thought it was Sakon, and then uh, and then Ud Udon was his... Uh, Sakon D's was nuts! Puppet was his puppet brother. No, uh, Sakon... The guy made his own brother into a puppet to, like, fight him. Those two were... Was he a puppet? I thought they were just, like, yeah. fused or something. I thought I thought he was a puppet. I guess Sasori was the puppet dude that... No, those two were in regular Naruto, and Shippuden, Sasori is one of the Akatsuki. Oh. Okay. I was thinking, I'm oh, sorry, I was thinking of the sound, like, uh, the sound team. The sound quartet. I liked them. I liked, I liked the three sound ninjas we saw, and then also, there was the four, but... Yeah. Tauya. I kind of like the idea of a sound village, then it just turns out it's, like, uh, some fucking underground, desolate nowhere land. Yeah, it just... It's not an hey, actual I made my village. own village! Hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, Jiraiya! I made my own village! This it's isn't cool. a village, it's a compound. Yeah, we're, we're a small village, uh... Basically, every every ninja village is like is like a dictatorship, right? Orochimaru made a dwarf fortress. <laughs> oh, is, is he gonna like channel a volcano and like unleash lava on the on the approaching ninjas? Uh, there it's like martial law in Ninja World. <laughs> yeah, it's constant. That's another thing is that is that it's it's like the world's. It's like every ninja village is North Korea, except they're all chill about it. It's like all, it's like eight out of ten in terms of like Harry Potter dystopia. Yeah, whereas ten is just Harry Potter, and yeah. then one is not Harry Potter. Yeah, you're I, right. I'm gonna it guess is... Attack on Titan probably gets pretty bad in terms of like it's probably the authoritarian a 12. rulership. Yeah, it's probably a twelve, but they but the author seems like it was intended to be it was intended to be bad. Unlike others who are just, like, unlike... J.K. Rowling, like, no, this is the perfect world. This is what we should all aspire to be. I don't yeah, know if she thinks that, but... Wizards crap in, the, in, like, the corner and they make it disappear with their magic. It's it's. Efficient. I thought they just shit their pants. <laughs> you don't have... But they have a bathroom! What the fuck? There was a... That's a plot point in one of the fucking novels. I don't, I don't know if it's a plot point, but it was one of those things that, like, lore coming from a tweet or something. Uh, I just think it's she, funny. It is funny, yeah. That's the kind I, of I, shit that... I, I don't think even Oda would do that. I think Oda, Oda puts more thought into his his world. He literally could... He literally was like, was like yeah, his dick stretches because well, it's the that most makes logical sense. thing to do. Yeah. That makes more sense than wizards shitting their pants and then poofing the evidence away. <laughs> you know, if you think about it, uh, wizards. Oh, nice. You got you got good food. Uh, if you think about it, wizards shitting their pants and pooping the evidence away is is like a perfect metaphor for how they dealt with the whole Voldemort situation to begin with. <laughs> no, that's not something Oda would do. That's something Tight Kubo would do. He does not give a shit. There's like yeah, well, at least he doesn't. At least he doesn't do stupid tweets saying, "Oh yeah, shitty gummy." They they shit. You just they just make it spoof away with spirit magic. It's it's like uh, she she J.K. Rowling's lore tweets are like a fascinating combination of of uh, George Lucas trying to over explain shit in Star Wars and Tight Kubo not having any fucking idea what he's doing with his. Like lore. <laughs> At least if you were to, t if you were to like sit to ask Taikubo, hey, Taikubo, uh, what do you, what, what does this mean in this, in terms of this lore? He'd just, he'd, he'd be willing to say, I don't fucking know. Taikubo, there's like three general ranges. At one extreme end, you have uh, Oda, the One Piece guy, who will just tell you everything about his series. Yes, yes, Luffy's dick stretches. At the other extreme end, you have Rumiko Takahashi, who uh, 
when asked about if Ranma would, like, what happens if a girl Ranma gets pregnant and then she turns into a guy? She's like, I don't want to think about it. Why are you asking me this question? And then in the right in the middle is tight Kubo, like, I don't fucking know. Who cares? Yeah, it's canon. Do whatever you want. I don't care. Everything is canon. Where, where are you? I just want to... This is I was trying to go back to the, the Yiga headquarters. I thought maybe that was a way in, but it does not. Yeah. Is, is there no way in? I thought if you just walk back, like, to 180 degrees and just walk back where you came in, that's... I guess I'd have to, yeah. Yeah. I have to go it's all just... the way over the thing again. Just do it, and then and then you can sneak in, or you just go to Guru Tower. Yeah, that could work too. And just climb over. I feel like Kishimoto kind of feels like like George Lucas, and that he's trying to like have a world that's fully functional. Whenever anyone asks him of something. He just comes up with some bullshit explanation, but... He failed because he came up with a world that, like, has, like... That has no, like... It, its technological curve doesn't make... No, it's not really cohesive, because... Is that a fucking accordion?! Oh. Hello, Cass. What are you doing here? Yeah. Yeah. What if... No, but then... I was lost in a song written by my late teacher. He wrote it for the hero who fell to the calamity a hundred years ago. Oh, that's nice. So much time has passed, and yet the hero has not returned. But my teacher always kept faith. I hope to play the song for the hero someday, so I practice it often. That's cool. Hey, by the way, um... You know what? We we have a, a canon songbird. This yes. is this is the new Jacquemo. He's, He's back. Jacquemo. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Yes. Okay, you had a quest marker, so I should probably listen. As light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower's shadow an arrow flies. Pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. Oh, okay. So you gotta shoot an arrow when the sun is, like, at a... Best of luck, and may the light illuminate your path. Okay, so it's, it's a secret to get to the to a shrine. So, when the tower gets to a certain level, that's where... I don't think it's there. I think... Did you pay attention to the lyrics? Well, he said the, the shadow, and then he highlighted this specific spot. So, either... Or maybe it was just pointing to the shadow in general, and that... Uh, could be. Could be either. Just... Surely attacking this with an electric weapon will be fine. If I don't drop it. Yeah. Well. What's this down here? There's the moon. There's another bat coming. I assume maybe this is related to the secret? Maybe Perhaps. this is where the shadow falls at the right time. Maybe I don't know. Check it. Check the shrine quest again, like the the quest log. Maybe maybe it'll uh, provide more info. Sign of the shadow as light signs from northwest skies. As light shines from northwest skies, and right now it's dark as shit. So I don't think. Yeah. No, I I agree. That's what I was suggesting. Yeah. There's a platform up there. Do you want to do this now, I get, or do you want to check back in with the the Gerudo to see if uh, if they, the woman got rescued? Uh, I, I guess we should. Would, that would be an easier way to do it than to. Uh... The shrine quest is there. You you know where, where like. Well, now, if the if it's coming from the northwest. From the west, that means the sun will be set. Would be setting. Well, if if it's coming from the northwest, then we're facing this way. The shadow would be where it was just pointing. Hmm. I think it put the shadow there to illustrate the cutscene, and then moved it all the way over there because it's this time of day. Maybe. Oh shit. Uh. Let's go back to Gerudo Town. So maybe, yeah. I want to focus on plot stuff while we're streaming. Yeah. Figure you can figure it out, and then. So, how many shrines did you do, do off-screen? 
And what were some of the more notable ones? Uh, I did one with electric puzzles, kind of like the one that we did earlier on stream. Oh, there was another one? Cool. Yeah. That explains why you were like, yeah, that explains why how you just looked at it and you're like, I know what to do. It wasn't as complicated as this one. I, I feel like the one I did before was more of like a tutorial shrine. That one, this that, this one was the first one I did the electric puzzle, and I figured it out. I'm like, hey, this is fun. Oh, you're you're you should be wearing you, yeah. Got to you got to follow the dress code. Oh, this has like no protection. Yeah. I mean, it's designed to look cool. It, it, it does, it's not designed to, like, be good in a fight. Get into a fight with it, you probably... I like how you changed it, like, practically changed in front of them, and they're like, yeah, I guess, yeah, you're a girl, whatever. The chief keeps saying that everything is going to be okay, but thinking about the Divine Beast makes me so uneasy. Divine Beast... Our fantastic chief, Lady Riju. She became chief after her mother, our old chief, passed away. Though young, she was our old chief's only child, so naturally the duties of leading the Gerudo fell to her. No troubles, aside from, you know, the divine beast rampaging around the land. You get too close to the giant, it'll lash out at you with lightning. That's why you need to wear a helmet that attracts lightning. Oh, that attracts lightning? I don't know. I guess, like... I kind of assume it just, like, it works as a lightning rod, but it nullifies the effect of the lightning. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. I got the item. Madden. Where did she go? Where? Hey. Where? Come on, let me up. I want to be queen. League, League is too respectful to sit in the chair. She's on the second floor. Normally people aren't allowed into her sleeping quarters, but she's given you permission. I'm way too close to this royalty! <laughs> Alright, you could go into her chambers. What?! Lady, you just met me like half an hour ago. It's been I a appreciate day. the trust, but... You're going the wrong... <laughs> what are I'm you? going the cool way, okay? Oh, you're doing the Aladdin? I can show you the world. Hello? <laughs> that was unnecessary. Diary of Makila Riju. First page. You're like a teenager. I'm going to respect her boundaries. <laughs> Unless this is, like, scripted. Like, I have to read her diary so that she can catch me reading her diary. I mean... You're, yeah. you're gonna respect her. You're not gonna read her diary, but you're going to like stand at her fountain. Well, I don't, he probably hasn't showered in a few weeks. <laughs> Boliara told me today that mother has passed on and gone to a better place. She said that my mother's death means I am now the chief of the Gerudo people. I wish she'd stayed here, though. I don't see how it can be a better place with us apart. Ever since I became the chief, the people in town have been a lot nicer to me. But if I look carefully, I can still see the worry in their eyes. It seems more common than when Mother was chief. Will I ever be as great a chief as you were? Divine beast Va Naboris, which support supposedly has been sleeping in the desert, has suddenly woken up. Mother once told me that Naboris is the deity of protection for the Gerudo people, but it doesn't seem that way. I plan to investigate tomorrow. Having investigated Divine Beast Vana Boris, I can say that if it came to Gerudo Town, we'd be helpless. When I drew close to it using my wonderful Sand Seal Patricia, I was driven back by Sandstorm and Lightning. I turned Patricia towards home, but a mon- That's a very, like, strong Gerudo name, Patricia. Patricia. Patricia? <laughs> that's like a Midwestern mom name. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> like, I'm just picturing, like, like a bunch of, like, Hylian guards trying to- deal with a Gerudo named Karen and they're yeah. just like, I don't want to approach her! She's like seven feet tall and she's got a trident. Let me speak to your majesty! Yes, ma'am! <laughs> <laughs> Every
Ever since I went to investigate the Divine Beast, Boliara has made a point of never leaving my side. Even now, with such a valuable heirloom stolen by thieves, she refuses to tear, tear herself away from me for even a moment. She takes all the blame for the theft, however. Nothing can change her mind about being responsible. Meanwhile, I can't help but feel that the theft happened because I am not yet ready to be chief. The soldiers search tirelessly, trying to recover the heirloom. No one says a word about my leadership. They must be thinking about how powerless their chief has proven to be. Thanks to the tireless efforts of my soldiers, we've located the thieves' hideout. They definitely aren't common criminals, though. We haven't been able to get anywhere close to the place. To think that the Thunderhelm is right there, yet we can't take it back. Oh, okay. Wait, did she go? Oh. Hello. I wasn't doing There's nothing. Kissed. Have you been there this whole time? That's why you shouldn't have done what you did! <laughs> hey, why are you dripping wet? You been standing my fountain? I, I need to Damn, even she's got abs. The Gerudo. I can sense the power of the heirloom flowing from you. I know that you've succeeded. Yeah. I am, as you've no doubt noticed, still but a child. The people look yeah, on me with nothing but warmth in their eyes. But even this brings me some pain, I must admit. I tried so hard to be worthy of their love, to be a worthy chief, and to prove to myself that I was worthy, too. Barely a little bit shorter than Link, an actual adult, and yet... Well, he's, like, what, 18? We don't know how is old this 18? Link is. Okay. Sorry, 118. 118 years old. And Ocarina got... Link was 17. Uh, who's the oldest Link? Well, Skyward Link was in night school. Twilight Link was, like, a farm boy. They're probably all around the same, like, 17-ish. Dude, what if you get, like, a Link that just looks like he's in his 30s, he's got, like, a old beard, and shit, he's all ripped... That would be cool. It'd be like uh, it'd be like future Marco in Star Versus. <laughs> Dude, that would be rad. I would love that. Old Link. I'd be down for this. Give me like a, a little Gerudo teammate for a for a dungeon. But this isn't Wind Waker. They're not going to do that. Yeah. Give us, give us a big Gerudo teammate. We'll have the 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 guard lady, and Link will be like, it'll be strapped in front of her, like in one of those baby carriers. All right, Link, just stay still. I can handle this. Well, you certainly got here well, fast. Certainly got here fast. I should have expected as I much. Have expected from the princess's own from appointed the princess's knight. Own okay, Urbosa speaks. Was out on a survey yep. all day today. Still as the sand still now. Still as the sand now. So. Spill it, boy. So, have the two of you been getting along all right? Have the two of right? you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay. I know. It's okay. Your silence. Wait, I, you know what? He knows. She, gets she, gets she knows. She knows. She looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than She's enough time. More than enough time. Ever since she was a young Ever girl, she was a young She's girl. gone through rigorous She's daily through routines rigorous to show her dedication. To show her dedication. She once passed out in she the freezing waters trying to access this sealing power. Sealing power. And she has nothing and to show for it. she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation That's driving the her motivation research. Driving her research. I'd be doing the same I'd thing. I'd be doing the same thing. Okay. She really is quite she really is special. Quite special. Researcher sure Zelda instead of ma Mage Zelda. Well, except she's also like a mage. Why? Why was she like? Was she like meditating in freezing waters? Was she under a waterfall? Also, there, there's a like distinct Gerudo language. I feel like she should have an accent of some kind. Did you feel that? Did you feel that? Is there a Goron language? What? How did you uh, how did you maybe. Maybe it's just them banging rocks together. <laughs> oh, that's the that's the Korok language. They just rattle. She seems fun. She's like Yoruichi in a way. By the way, uh, 
if you want to see old man link it, or version of it, I just posted it. I sent it to you. Do I look all right? Uh, yeah, looks good. The threat Divine Beast Vodna Boris poses has only grown since we began searching for the heirloom. I believe the Gerudo town itself may be in danger before too long. As a chief and as a Gerudo, I must find some way to stop that thing before it threatens my people. Will you help me? I'm kind of busy. <laughs> but thou must. Who would have thought that just before such a momentous battle... Hearing a simple, confident pledge of support from you would be what puts me at ease. I'll head out now. Let's meet up at the lookout post south of town. Okay, so... Oh, I guess... Yeah, she will. Because we had the... The bird hero dude accompany us to the flying one. Yeah. So I guess she's, she's gonna, gonna tag help. along for the... Only one way to get close to Deboris, and that's with the help of a sand seal. The lookout post isn't too far from town, but you should take a sand seal there. You can get some practice in that way. Yeah, yeah. D Waiting for you with my- I fucking walked to the fairy fountain. I didn't take no sand seal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm built different. <laughs> Just walking stoically through a sandstorm. <sighs> that, is, that would actually be a badass, like, mental image. Just, I'm going to stoically walk through the sandstorm. Through uh... a divine sandstorm. Uh... We're not. I don't think we're gonna do the the thing today because we're already almost at three hours. Oh, are we? Shit! It did I mean, I, I don't mind if you want to keep going, but. Uh, I mean, what do you, what what would be what you would want to do? What you want to like? I'm I'm fine to go as long as you want to go. Uh. Probably another hour if we did the seven. thing right. Yeah, yeah, we can do it. it it's, uh, I actually, I, I forget. I, it's been so long since I did the dungeon. You, yeah, let's, let's fucking, fuck it, let's do it. Another hour? I'm good for another hour. We can line it up so that, uh, next time we can do, like, all the Zora stuff in one stream. Yeah, and then, uh, and then from there, like, whatever side quests that are, like, fun. I I'm feel going like... to assume that this is not enough of a cooling effect to save us from the volcano. No, you're going to need, like, uh like that and like or some other like cooling thing there's an outfit there in the secret shop which is like a uh like a different version of what you're wearing in the gerudo kind of... shop yeah in the in the secret gerudo shop oh that's right we never went to the do you know where it is uh like one sec secret gerudo shop Tears of the Kingdom. What? No, I'm thinking of... I'm wanting the Breath of the Wild one. Hello. You just, uh, sweeping sand? The Gerudo Secret Club. It's, uh, on the side of fashion... Pa of, a uh, fashion passion through a wooden door. Oh. There's sand seal races. I'm sorry, what'd you say? It's, uh... It's on the side... to the, On the side of fashion passion through a wooden door. Is this fashion passion? It's check the sign. Maybe maybe it is. Yeah, so it's on the side of it. Through a wooden door. Uh, don't think it's up there. Oh, I looked at the sides of it. Is it in, Did like, you... the back of it? This door? Uh, uh, oh, gosh. You didn't go far enough. You went... Okay. okay. Well, I, I didn't realize it was we such a long building. <laughs> you were literally going to it, and you gave up halfway through. It's the fucking diamond mine meme. Uh, Gerudo secret... Yeah, gold, silver, crystal. J yeah, gold, silver, crystal... Haven't seen your face around here before. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a rare visit. Skeleton! I want to be a skeleton! Oh, that's good, too! Oh, I gotta save up for the fairy fountain, though. Yeah. Oh. Bowling. That's a special one made using luminous stone. 
you're interested, you'll need to trade me the materials, and there's a handling fee. Okay, so that's what the Luminous Stone is for, is you could... Plus 800. Yeah. What? Is there, like, a... There's, it doesn't say there's, like, a set effect. I just get to be a skeleton. I think I think the skeletons recognize you as one of their own, if you okay. wear it. Okay. So that's the oh, Desert Bow. Yeah, so that's the Desert Bow set. Uh, is it enough uh, heat resistance for the... I... Th the I mean, it has... It actually, it actually says heat resistance on it. So, unlike the other one, where you'd have to wear the entire thing to, uh... Also, it looks cool. Now, if I wear this in the village, will I get kicked out? Probably. Yes, of course you would. You're you gotta you gotta be a, a female to like uh, to like uh... buy my shit. You like bananas? We got thirty five each. Yeah, that's like five each, and you got that's one hundred fifty. Lots of amber. No, that's not. That's more than that. That's uh. I think three hundred. The only stone that we need for upgrades was the diamond for that circlet. So, yeah, just <laughs> nine hundred rupees, and then you want to keep the luminous stone because you would need to buy the uh... nice, and then sapphire. Ah. <sighs> This is the only shop in Gerudo Town where someone could buy clothes meant for a Vogue to wear. And their only outfits are either Gerudo stuff that would look good on a male, and skeleton, <laughs> and skeleton rave shit. <laughs> so it's illegal to sell men's clothing, but there's still a high demand for it. Also, she's never seen a man dress in women's clothing before now. So, are the Gerudo all buying this stuff for, like, themselves? For their boyfriends? Probably for their boyfriends. Man, they, they make it illegal even to sell Gerudo-style clothing for men. Yeah, so I'm guessing if you wear all of it, all that, then you'll be able to, uh, to just kind of travel in, in the volcano without any problems. That being said, it's got no. It's, it seems like it's got no like uh, like defense bonus, so don't get hit. I'll see what like the uh, the upgrade options are. Okay. Bye, lady. All right, you want to put it on? Looking good, Slink. Yep. Okay, that's that's as that's as much as. Okay. Can I can I say hold on? Let me let's zoom in on the outfit again. I want to see that the outfit. Just, okay, just is there a way to like rotate? Yeah, with the right stick or the left stick. I have to press Click the right in. stick. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad. That's like that's that's like Prince of Persia almost. He kind of looks the... like the Ganon stand costume. That you're right. That's what he was wearing. Maybe that's what they were using for, like, the, uh, the, like, okay, it says that male, that, uh, Gerudo Vi would wear this, so, yeah, that's. Yeah, roll over, you slut. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I'm sorry, I said it because it was funny. The, the standard comedian excuse. <laughs> that just took me off guard. Just <laughs> you said you said that outside a town full of Gerudo. You would have got your ass kicked if you said that. They would have beat the shit out of you and just let and just sand sealed you all the way out in the middle of a desert and just left you there and be like, "Oh, sucks to be you." And then they're like, "Oh, you want something to drink here?" And they just throw down a can of motor oil. What's this? Uh, that's where uh, that's where you're going. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> you gotta you gotta stop beaching your sand whale. Your sand. Do they don't not they not die? I can't get sand whale meat, sand seal meat. 
It's not like killing a horse for its meat. It's not good, and you're and you're just just fucking yourself when it comes to like uh, your mode of conveyance. Definitely a good idea to go up here with a metal shield and a lightning area. Yeah, it's, it's something you would want to do if you need electricity really quickly. If you're, say, like, resurrecting a corpse or powering up a DeLorean. Oh. Hello. Hello. Despite what the chief said, I wasn't expecting someone as short as you. Also, I thought it was a woman. Chief must have a reason for believing you can fight the Divine Beast. She's Are... waiting for you at the top of the lookout post. Hey, I, I, wait a second. I thought, I thought I, that, uh, how'd you know I was, uh, dude, everybody knew, but I thought men weren't, well, I mean, it's plausible deniability. Amazingly, it's like, amazingly enough. My you inventory know? is full, so I won't steal this. Amazingly enough, like, it's, it's harder to, to, like, change the law than it is to just turn a blind eye. Figure that out. Look, at least put on put on like a like a bow in your hair or something. Just just for us. <laughs> yeah, the the mini mouse method. It's Link. He looks exactly the same, but he's got a pink bow on his head. And they're like, "Good enough. You can come in. Don't remove it, or we'll kick you out." That's what you really look like, huh? With Voban yep. from town, it's not very common for me to see someone like you. What a sight! Oh, the beast is pretty intimidating. <laughs> what a sight! We and also, get... the beast. Look want to get close enough to that thing, we'll need to use sand seals. Are you ready? Uh, I just beached mine. Do you have a spare? Oh. Oh. Also, second question. Can you eat sand seals? <laughs> Why? No reason. Uh, oh, you need arrows. bomb arrows! Do you have some for me? Alright, we have. I have to stay close to her to avoid the lightning. It, okay, why don't I just wear the thing and go alone? I, I appreciate that you want to be a part of this, but this seems unnecessary for you to, like, enter this dangerous area. Come on, let me have my fun! Don't do anything reckless. Here are some Gerudo bomb arrows. What makes them different from other... And they're all bomb arrows. So you got, uh, 21, 22 bomb arrows? Don't miss! My name is Riju, descendant of the royal line and leader of the Gerudo people. With the power of the heirloom passed down in my family, I shall calm the divine beast Va Naboris. It's like, uh, it's like the, the Yashihime girl, uh, Maroha, just yeah. doing her speech before she does her ultimate technique. No, no, it doesn't, it's not necessary. She's just 14, yeah. so she thinks it's cool. I have become Bini, Bini Yasha, slayer of evil. We might not have, we might not be able to get this done in an hour if you fuck up the uh, the beast battle beforehand. Ah, oh, I won't. I don't remember. Just don't miss, and don't even do it intentionally to piss me off. Oh, that was an intent. That was a necessary like ritual. It had to like activate the helmet. Yeah, and she knew it. And Link doesn't speak, so I love that outfit on on Link. It looks so rad. I don't know why. It's like. Imagine someone didn't know that. They just put the helmet on and charged in. Then <laughs> they die. They just... Oh, you don't have any practice riding the sand seal. Shit. Okay, A to dash. Yep. That's a lot of dash. I gotta be careful with that. You can also, I think, hold your stick back to, uh, to slow down. So really, you're just controlling the sand seal, and uh, and you're just attached behind it. That's how that works. Yeah. I wonder if we're ever going to get a Zelda game where we can roll as a Goron again. That was fun as shit. Oh, yeah. Dude, what about a Zel Dude, Zelda game in the style of Lost Vikings? Yeah, where you just change between characters. There was yeah. a... 
did you see the Diddy No Gaming video about the, uh, the, like, what's the, what's isometric, like, strategy Zelda game involving the, the different races? Oh no, I, I missed that, that sounds fun, did, was it cancelled? Uh, it was, I forget the studio that was proposing it, but there was a full design document, they had everything laid out for a, uh, it was an isometric, like, puzzle kind of game. It was Link and several different race characters, similar to the champions in this game. Oh man. And you would be able to play as all of them with each with different abilities. Okay, so, uh... See... So you can, like, uh, go out of the bubble and strike him, and then when he's about to shoot, just, uh... Okay, so there's gonna be warning when they do the lightning. Yeah, probably use your duplex bow. Just because it fires two bomb arrows at once. You can double your, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, wait until I know what the cue for the lightning is. Okay, That's she's gonna say it. That Get was in, close. Please. Okay. Yeah. I think that- Oh, wow! Uh-oh! Uh... Can you, like, slow down a little, please? Don't want- You're going too fast! You somehow oh. hit it! Just... Jack, it's skill. Natural talent. Yeah, what? I'm doing it! <laughs> Lady! We need to get closer. Keep going. I asked her to slow down. I guess this is my fault. Yeah. No, now yeah. get closer. Okay, I need to go ahead of her. She's not going to get close enough. Damn it. Oh, I lost my sand seal. Ah! Zelrog. No, wait for me, lady! Dead. Rip. All right, now. So she kind of follows you. So just just run. Just charge. And... So she speaks out loud during this. She's kind of... She sounds kind of unimpressed. Yeah. Just, uh, I wonder how you... old her actress is. She's probably an adult actress. Yeah. So she follows you. You, you can dic you, you technically dictate the pace. Okay, now slow down. Or, or not. Yeah! Okay, if I get on it, she's gonna move. No, I, I want to keep up the fight. I want to wait for the lightning to pass. Because if I get on now... Okay, we're good. Yeah, you're fine. Just... Okay, one more. You just you need to do one more. Just well, at least you know what. At at the very least, you're uh, this is it seems like it's less of a hassle than trying to fight that uh, air air. Uh, that no, the air guy fucking... was easy. Yeah, this is harder. Yeah, because <laughs> because you're having to ride a sand seal. You've never done it before. Well, it's more that I have to stay inside her circle, and it's very like inconsistent. Got him! This seems easier because there's less targets. At least she actually made an attempt to, like, stay with me and protect me, unlike bird fuck. Yeah. She's just, and, you, and you didn't want to, like, fucking... You're like, I don't- I could do this by myself! Well, if I was wearing the thing, it would be- it would, the circle would be around me at all times. Yeah, but you couldn't activate it. Unfortunately, I cannot appease Naboris on my own. Oh, she speaks. I have no choice but to entrust the rest to you. Everyone in- in Hyrule of every race is just British. They're not even different types of British. They're all just British. 
Like, at least the Gav the Gorons have, like, a, like a West Britain accent. Listen to Scrumpy. <laughs> Don't let us down. Okay, so, uh... We have unlocked travel point. Well, 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 well. You sure do know how to keep a woman waiting. I can't wait to see you take the borders back from Ganon. She's fine. I think I would have liked Mary Elizabeth McGlynn as her bosa. The, uh, the major. Oh, yeah. And Cornelia. Yeah, that would have been cool. It, you know, that those cost money. Alright. I forgot that... Head over to that guidance, over that guidance stone. stone. Sounds that easy, easy, right? right. Alright, so you gotta reset the, uh... The beast. Oh, hello. Uh... Yeah, what's my shittiest guardian weapon? You're nothing! You trash! Can't wait till you're able to like actually sell them once you upgraded everything that the uh, the parts need. Yeah, I couldn't afford upgrade. anything so far of the the stuff that needs the parts from the guardians. Yeah, but you'll be able to buy it eventually. Like it's easy to get rupees in this game. As you as you can tell, but uh, I see electric stuff. More electric puzzles. That's what that shrine. It was preparing you for this. Wait, where am I going? I'm going down here. The guidance stone. Yeah. That's not the guidance stone. Oh, a chest. But it's shinies. Use the uh, bombs away. blow up on some poor merchant. It's gonna hit Beetle. <laughs> Ow! Fine. I'll wait till later. You'll, you'll, you'll get to it eventually. Um, I don't have the map yet. No, that's what the Guidance Stone is for. So, uh... Yeah, up, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's right. You need the Guidance Stone to get access to the beast's, like, uh... Like, features, like last time. When you're able when you're able to tilt the bird. I'm going to guess that this one rolls. This is a very cylindrical room. Yeah, you you, you would guess correctly. Do you remember what the other two beasts were? Uh No, I haven't gotten that, to that yet. There's bird, there's camel. I'm guessing one is like is like a submarine whale or something. Okay, yeah, you can rotate them. You can rotate them now. And the 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 fire one, maybe a spider. I don't I don't know. A dragon. The terminals that control the terminals are noted by a series of glowing points on your map. Take Naboris back Take by activating, back all, of by the activating all of the terminals. You're ready for this. You're ready for this. I like Garbosa. She's supportive. Yeah. The other one was just kind of like, uh, I guess, I guess I can work with you, maybe. Oh hey, wait, what's that? In the oh, center. That was, we hadn't activated that yet. Yeah. Be careful! This thing has spot-on aim. Dances circles around shitty boss. Oh, the ter the terminals are uh, are the terminals. Uh... Okay, so terminal activation. That's what you need to do. Hello.
No, the oh the, the sword's swag. gone. And also the other things. Damn it! Oh well. Got too stab happy. Yeah, you gave into your battle lust and paid the price. Oh, you're back in the main room. Okay, so go back to the map. I'll, well, I'm looking around first. I'll, like, okay. roll if I have to or whatever. Uh, most of the fights in Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War, have been just okay. Kenpachi's yeah. is great. Kenpachi, which, Kenpachi uh, which versus the... Imagination, dude. Yeah, that was that was awesome. And then he got he got he got fucking sealed in outer space, and he cut his way out of outer space because that's how Zod fucked out works. So really, him cutting through a castle in that one movie that was foreshadowing. Kenpachi versus like end of series Kuwabara, because they both basically have the ability to cut through anything. Yeah. Damn that. I can cut through anything. I can cut through anything. If, don't let them fight. If they fight, then, then they'll cut through each other, and then and then shit, and then the apocalypse will happen. That their swords will clash, and it'll create like a warp in space. <laughs> yeah. And, and, then, and, then, and then it turns out they'll need to fight Safe Puff Marshmallow Man, and they'll have to defeat him by. We have to cross the blades. Come imagine the, the dude who can like imagine things into existence. Brings yeah. the stay puffed marshmallow man against Kenpachi. <laughs> that this sounds that sounds like a solid JJ sketch where you're like he's like I can imagine anything. Oh, can you imagine a strong foe for me to fight? Oh yeah, I'll let you choose the form of of his opponent. All right, well I'm gonna have to consider it. Hmm. Hmm. And then and then Yichiro was like I chose what. Would you choose Safe Puff Marshmallow Man? Because of course Ichiro would do it. Would choose that as the... Because it's candy. By the way, Ichiro has a Shikai release. It's, it's weird. Oh right, I can't climb in here. Yeah. <laughs> it's... I think it's about time to start rolling. I see a chest up there. Oh, we can r roll the section separately. Yep. Rollin, rollin, rollin. Who's got that, uh, that Majora, very minimal, like, ambient background music? Yeah. I think- Ah! You, you slipped. I did slip. Wait, why is that still spinning? The fuck? I don't know. Should take him out. Oh, come on, Link. <laughs> Can I, like, hook shot up? No. Okay. Which side is the front? Does it show which way I'm facing? It does. Yes, it does. So, so if I'm facing that way, I'm facing the butt. Okay, so... There you go! Oh, great! <laughs> Needed one of those! That's fine, at least you know that the, the chest is a bust. That creature is really not having a good day. It is groaning. Uh, 
there's another bombable thing. Uh... You sound like you're in pain. Watching me I'm do not, this. I'm not- What? I was I just- I was just, what, groaning? I was clearing my throat. Don't- oh. I'm not that bad, that much of a jerk all the time. Uh, I, I'm basically, I, I, I don't blame you. I don't remember how, how I did this either. It's just, I can just keep rolling shit. It's just a lot of, like, rooms and openings to check. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Go back. I think maybe it opens up if you, no. That wouldn't make any sense, though. Or would it? You're still technically in that room. Maybe if you rotate the uh, the it while you're there, you can like. No, no, that that can't work. Can it? No, because this isn't a door. It's just a window. Yeah. But we can see yeah. through it. Yeah. Now we can't see anything. All right. So. So far, we only rotated the middle section. Yeah. So let's see if rotating that gives us access to anything. Wait, okay, so, wait, there's a, wait! That, that, right there. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. There's, that's an opening to the interior. Well, yeah. So is this. Okay. That's just gonna take us to the middle part, which we've been everywhere in the middle part so far. <laughs> Oh, there's skeletons in here now. This goes down to the... bat. Was that chest over there. Which we don't know how to get. Get out of here. I wonder if it's important, if it's like a key or anything. Probably not, since, uh, since chests usually aren't in this... Maybe you gotta swing it in such a way that it's like, it's got momentum and then you shoot the chain. With Could an be. arrow. That's gonna take up a lot of arrows, though. I'm not gonna worry about it until we are, like, out of options. Yeah. Fair enough. I think we went in this side already, so we haven't been to the... The head or the butt, whatever this isn't. This is the butt. Yeah, this was the terminal. So we're trying to open the other side, because that gate is locked. Yeah. Did you go on the other side of the of the camel? The head, no, we haven't been. No, I mean I mean you are you are on the left side constantly. What about the right side? Or sorry, vice versa. We went out here. Did did we? Yeah, because this chest is open. Okay. Camera, please. I don't think we've been out to the any other openings on this side. Maybe maybe the very bottom? Like there's a no, there's not that's not an opening though. Shit. Well we're gonna have oh, this looks new. What's here? Is Wait! This a rotating chamber? Uh, is it part of the rotating chamber? It is. It is, yeah. So, so if you go, and then it'll... Oh. Well, that's one of, like, four. four yeah. Five. Four I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. Cool. Is that all that's uh, in here? Yeah, seems like it. Seems like... Well, it's on the very bottom, then. Nothing, huh? Okay. The rooms are rotating. 
Dude, how the how the how are the other two dungeons gonna be? Well, we've done tilting. We've done rotating. Uh, Inversion. Yeah. Inverting. Which is kind of the same as, as rolling, but with fewer steps. Maybe Zora, there's like there's like something to do with water levels. You gotta do Probably. drainage and shit. <laughs> every every dungeon. Every Zelda game needs a water temple. Even this one that doesn't have proper temples. Wait. Hold on. Yeah. What if you put all the lines on the bottom, like the orange lines? Oh yeah, for the electric stuff. Yeah, that could that could open something. There's an opening. I'm gonna Is I'm there? gonna do the electric stuff after I check this. Yeah, go for it. Nope, it's not an opening. It's just black wall. Okay. Wait, what? So it's what's not the moving? Oh, what's the point of that being there then? Oh no. There's one up there as well. Uh. Alright, so this rotates such that the top Wait! is the line. What's what's down there? Go go turn around. What's What's over there? Um, that's why I'm looking for where the green lines are supposed to go. No, I'm saying that that's oh that's the chest thing. Fucking yeah. hell! I I thought I was being really clever. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I guess. Do they need to be all along the top? Could be a side. Well, it was on. The, it was green when it's on the bottom. So I'm guessing they all need Wait. to be on the bottom. What? No, those don't go anywhere. I can try them all on the bottom. Yeah, I'd say try them all on the bottom and see what happens. I'll probably open that uh, gate over there. No? Because it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. It's just dead end okay. over there. Then... Hmm. I think it's green no matter where it is because it's being charged and we have to Not like take the line was... somewhere. Okay. So I guess so then just uh, do all three all three of them in like uh, all four directions and then see what what happens then. It was a nice attempt. Okay. Maybe it's the top. Oh, there it is. It is the top! Okay, that it opened. Something opened. Down there, yeah. Oh, now this rotates. That's why the two things were at the... on that section. Yeah, that explains why it was rotating earlier. Uh... Ow. Uh-oh. Wait. Flippin' laser beams. Oh. Was it just the for the fucking another night shield? shield? It, well shoot the eye so that so that all that stuff disappears, at least. Stab. Is there anything up here? Or is it just yeah, seared gourmet meat. Uh, well that had to do something getting rid of that thing. What is this? This is the head. Yeah. see where these connect to yeah you can you can just kind of ride them up now I have a feeling it won't be permanent so just being able to like access that looks new 
Is there Where's... anything under here? Uh... Something down there. It's just like an undercarriage. Would moving the stuff like affect? Probably not. If you do that, then it's gonna shut down the uh, rotation of the. Wait, what's under? Okay, can you go under? Can you go like beside the stairs? Like if you go down. Aha. Yeah, there you go. Wait, we started down here. Didn't we? Did we? No, we didn't. We yeah, this is where slide. we sta spawned in. Okay, so... Oh, man. Again, thinking I'm being real clever. When in all actuality, I'm not. Alright. So, feet. that's... I mean, you can tell. It's, it's a fucking, like... Alright, I guess we're going back up, and then we're gonna ride it up to the top, I guess? Or whatever? I wonder what the point is of that uh, of that thing being powered up, and if it does it affect the other side as well? How have we only found one of the five things? This is a slightly more complicated dungeon than the bird. So I say ride this side all the way up, and then it doesn't see... matter which side is which because they both are in the same position. No, I'm saying that... No, I, I know. That maybe there's another it. opening. I'm wondering if there's another, like, uh, energy thing that would affect the uh, the other side of the room uh, is rotation, but it's in a different level than this one. Here we go. Uh, this is new. Yep, new shit. Okay, what's this doing? So, it's supplying power to this area. Oh! It's moving- okay! Um... I think you're looking at the wrong side when you're moving that, but... Yeah. Well, there was one on this you... side, too. Yeah, but if you move it the opposite side, it'll move that one. That's bizarre. Yeah. I didn't design it, I just figured it out. That's it. Oh no, you, you moved the other one. Okay. Colt, good enough, says the camel. And we get an elevator. Ah oh, man. Yeah, because because you moved it too, too much. Wait, which way do I push it? I don't know. Man. I no. ruined it. Wait, now it's not moving. Oh no, you broke it! Okay, now it's working. Remember when Aku defeated Samurai Jack's dad just to make him, like, push one of these forever? That was all he did with him? <laughs> That's petty evil. Ah, uh, yes, the vague work wheel. May you slave away forever. They had a vague work wheel in Conan the Barbarian. That's how Conan got strong, he just pushed that all the time. They did that there in we uh, go. Star Versus. It's just like a trope. I wonder if that has a TV Tropes article, the push wheel. The, the wheel of pushing? If there isn't, it should be. Okay, so that'll go up. Come down. It'll co Come down, elevator. Who the fuck designed this thing? Maybe Ganon just spends all day, like, designing puzzles. He, he did all these conversions to make the thing, because he didn't want Link to figure out how to take the thing back from him. Thank you, motivational Ur Urbosa. I see Is that a uh, bunch of, uh, yeah. Zoom in with the, okay. Uh, I can't get it from this side, though. The eye is on the other side, it looks like. Alright. But, at the very least, you know where it is. 
If you use a bomb, no bombs don't work. And I think bomb arrows would be the same. Did that do anything else besides being able to activate the one terminal? Because I don't know where the other ones would could be. I guess we have to I'm, find a I'm, way to get even higher than this. I'm guessing that there's one on the other side as well, like a like an electric uh, thing on like the other side that's in a different like position. That'll move it. Well, we've done three of the four possible positions. I. Uh, uh, but we weren't on the on that side when we were. We were focusing on this side of the of the room. I'd say I'd say give it a look over. Just to be sure. Oh, hello. Ah! Hey. Uh, you got access to the high jump. I guess I do, yeah. I kind of wish it recharged. Ow! I kind of wish it recharged on its own without me having to, like, uh, like use all three. No, do another one. Ah, he wouldn't get his thing out. You can go, yeah, just... Are all the others just in this room and we blinded them? There are two terminals. Maybe, but at least... We saw the goo up there, so we must have a way to get up higher at some point. Yeah. Alright, so... And maybe this is it? Okay. Yeah, this opened on the other side. Alright, cool. So so going up to the top opened both the, uh, both paths. Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's my I see, I see, yeah. And there's stuff up there. Oh, it has more. The more uh, the terminals you activate, the the more the music like uh, like changes. So where did you stop? You completed this dungeon, right? When you yeah, played? and then I just and I got and I went outside a bunch of side stuff. Oh wait, no, I, I need out there. Well, you shouldn't have uh, opened it. Oh, where you did? You can always just you can always just deconnect it, or you can climb up there. That works too. I'm still trying. Okay, but why were you okay? Because well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to do the thing and then run into position. What's what's your idea? I mean, uh, I I could say it, but you're going to think I'm dumb. I'm a dumb brain for dummies if I say it. He keeps hitting the lip. What? Go ahead. What's your idea? Stasis. Stasis. Okay. No, that Just makes sense. Just hit it. Yeah? Okay. Now hit it with something. Okay, now run!
I didn't think that was a dumb idea at all, Jack. <laughs> Last time I suggested something with stasis, you're like, that's not gonna work. And well, because like, it wasn't going to in that in that situation. <laughs> Wait, what are you? It was an eye, didn't it? I know, but you you were there, and then you turned around. I don't know. I, I don't understand. Well, it was why closed. You... I, for a second, I thought, oh, I have to be far away. Then I remembered, no, that's not how the eyes work. There you go. So that's how you get up there. Now we have to go across the top to get to the other side of the Uki. There's an elevator now. What's up here? The Guardian Stone. I like the designs of these dungeons. They're cool. Yeah. Because these are like actual structures as opposed to like previous Zelda dungeons didn't really have to make sense. Yeah, these ones... Architecturally? Yeah. But what is it doing? Oh, okay. It's, it's spinning that thing down there. That'll be the lead... Okay, okay, I see what's going on. Almost... Done! What there's does that one, do? There's one more, there's two more tablets, but one seems to be in the main body. Or wait, no! I think one of them is, uh, is like, down the elevator. That elevator? I think... Yeah? It, it'll, it'll lead down to one of the uh, Guidance Stones. No? Well, at least it opened the shortcut, it seems like. Is that... This is just the place that... Okay, this goes back down to... Okay. At least there's an elevator. Rivali's Gale is now Rivali's ready. Gale is now ready. Thank you, Rivali. Thank you. Helpful helpful to have, like, a uh, high jump whenever you need it. I'm kicking myself for not doing that dungeon first. That would have made a lot of traversal traversing so much easier. I know that uh, the Goron gives you, like, some kind of defense spell. Because Vinny made jokes about it constantly. I don't Getting know what the hard. other two do. Hello. I'm coming. Just wait. Oh, no, you're leaving. Okay, bye. You ready? Okay, bye. Oh, that is that the one? Okay, how? But how do you get to that guidance stone that's still in the main body? I wonder if that's. I wonder how one gets there. Okay, so that. So there's an eyeball somewhere, in this area. There it is. And this goes back out to this side. Yeah. So, which means you're gonna have to go up now. What are these? They're power things. Oh, you shoot them and then it'll open. Shoot them? Maybe. Maybe you shoot, shoot that thing? No, that's like a power node. I have to get electricity oh. to it. Okay. I guess. How, though? Oh, is there one up above that you switch it, you, like, turn it, and then it'll uh, set that in position that it'll open it? And that's how you get to the uh, final uh, node from there? That looks like just a shortcut back to the main room, but I don't know. Yeah, I'd say I'd say you'd give it a shot. Oh. though. Oh, it's up there. Can I can buy. I buy some cool stuff now? I want ancient armor. I want ancient power armor.
Just one terminal Just remaining. Authenticated. You're almost there. You're almost there. All right, so so ride the elevator up to the top, and then there should be a switch. Verbosa is my favorite mommy. She's so much later than that Dim so much nicer than that Dimitrescu lady. I didn't like her. Dimitrescu is the stern, uh, like Norman Bates mother. Uh, she's like the nice, like, uh, like cool mom that like uh, lets you uh, just like party at we on weekends and. Yeah, see, the music evolves the more stones you get. That's cool. You have to earn music. That would have been a cool thing with the Forest Temple, if, like, the voices was the last thing to be added. That, yeah. Alright, so you're up here. There's the thing we need. There's a thing. There's is also it blocked? Uki stuff around. Is it blocked by Uki? No, I, I pick it up and move it. I'm just looking around the room. Is that a chest over there? Yes. It's a chest I've already opened. Okay. Oh, because that's how you're supposed to get to that. Yep. And, okay. I thought you were going to fall. Would I so... ever fuck up in a dungeon? Oh! That's clever. Okay. No, get it. Pick it up. Hello, Gendarian. Okay, so... Wait, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. What? It... You're just grabbing it. it. I thought you were gonna put it like. Put oh press wait, I remember. Switch. This isn't like. This isn't conductive. This is itself a power source. Yeah. You just have to touch it to the thing. Uh... I was I was looking for a way to like connect the lines. Oh hello. Garia Spear is going down. So is it. Oh, it's not dead yet. Oh, do something else. Grab one of their weapons. I still got plenty left. This one didn't drop any. Neither did this one. That's, uh, mean. Usually so this is like do. the centerpiece. Which oh the the node is here. You are in the place where the node is. If you look at the map, were there two of these? And we missed one. Maybe. So it's probably another one in this room. We didn't actually use the, uh, we only used the, like, rolling mechanic for the first part of the dungeon. Yeah. Because we figured it out, like, e like, pretty easily. Is it in the top? Or, oh yeah, you gotta climb up there. No, it's not up here, is it? I don't think there's a way to, like, connect the line to that room. It looked like two pedestals for two of those balls. Yeah, there's. I don't think it's you have to. You, I don't think it's looking for you to connect them. I think it's looking for you to like move the balls in. But where the other, like, don't love how much waiting for elevators is in this dungeon. Yeah. I think maybe I chose the worst dungeon because it seemed like that bird dungeon was way more fun.
I wonder if anyone has made a, a, a Muzak version of the Zelda theme. I'll look that up later. looks up in video games, Matt. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah. Is there I was anything looking at... in this room? How did, I, how did I find it? I'm looking it up. How would you compare these shrines to dungeons from the previous games? Well, these are not shrines. The These are the four, like, magical beast things. And these are essentially the, the temples, the dungeons of the game. The shrines are like uh, mini dungeons. Which, I think these are comparable to uh, other, like, Zelda dungeons, the Four Beasts. As far as dungeons go, I like these so far. Second orb is from the previous room that Link entered when he first got to the top level. So it's there, it's just... So it is, it is there. Previous room that Link entered before he got to the top level. Yeah. So not here. So the it's the it's I guess it's before the the first elevator room. Which side is the first one? Probably the one that only goes up one, and you got to climb to the second one. And so this guy's it's not the three store it's not the three uh, floor elevator it's the two floor one. So you haven't played this game, Darian. There's nothing below us, because there's a hole in the floor here. It that's what the guide says that like that like it's in that room. So Okay, I'm just making sure because we haven't been here yet. So this is the shorter of the elevator rooms. Yes. And this is the thing that raises yeah, so I don't think it's here. I think... I don't think it's down there, I mean. I think it is there. We're just... We're just being blind idiots and not seeing it. So it's in this elevator room, it says? I... It's... That's what it says! For the previous room that Link entered when we first got to the top level. Yeah, where is it, though? Second okay, here's floor. the top level. So... No, not there. Top. I guess this is the top level on top of the ladder. Yeah. This just activates the elevator. Yeah, that. now you turned it off. It also rotates the room. Does that do anything? Does it rotate the room? It's just rotating down there. They didn't say you needed to rotate anything. You just need to grab the orb. Maybe turn on your magnesis? That would help you, like, find... Oh, stop rotating. I will in a second. Alright. Hmm. I said the room before this one. I don't... Yeah, I don't... This doesn't qualify as a room. This is outside, though. Alright, I'm gonna look at another guide. Maybe they can be more specific. This is just the other elevator room. We haven't seen another one of those balls in this entire dungeon.
Yeah, I'm just... This, uh, this music track reminds me of the, uh, like, Avatar Earth Kingdom. Yeah, I can... Makes sense. Maybe it's on the ground floor, and it's, like, on the opposite side, like, where the power node on the other room was. You know? Like, no, on the, on the bottom part of the, of this... Of this one or the other one? Of... Down there, yeah. Now look up. Look up. Mm. Above the door, the doorway. No power node on this side. Okay, and no orb. Fucking shit. This is frustrating. Yeah, I'm. I'm still looking. Maybe I could be the other power orb. In the space between the bottom and top floor, there are two ledges. On the on out of one door, you'll find a platform. Kill the guardians. Go out, take the middle. Right. Maybe you should look at like a video. <sighs> yeah, one sec. I don't remember ever getting stuck in a Zelda dungeon on stream before. I hope there's no. It's not a glitch. Ten minutes. Somebody got this done in ten minutes. Speedrunner's dream. Okay. Wait, what? Hold on. Okay, that's where that one was, but where's the other one? Wait, wait. Oh, we're we're wait. I think we're. No, that's a chest. Shit. Uh, with an ancient screw. So where is? Okay. Sir, I'm still looking. Give me a sec. Middle one. Wait, what? Is there just one there that isn't appearing for us? I think I think somebody found it and moved it there. Hold on. Ah, this. I hate, I hate it, it's just like... Come on. Okay! Go back to the room where that we were uh, searching Nook and Cranny in. Now, is that, okay, that's the right one? Yeah. Get on it, and look forward, do not turn around. Forward, which forward? Look, Joe! No, do not move, look! There it is! Pretty sneaky. I tell you not to move, and you're like, "What? I'm, where? 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 I look? No, don't move!" And you're like, just there's a chest on the opposite side that contains an ancient screw. If you you know care about that sort of thing, I do like a screw. Good screw. Carpenter's dream. Oh no no no! no. I meant I meant that room, the room you were in. It was on the opposite side of where you found the. Uh, I just, I, the, I the had orb. to ask because you're on, like, I don't know, a 10, 20 second delay or something. 10 second delay? No. No. One or two second. 20 second well, delay. Long enough to I'm matter. I'm watching on tree. <laughs> long enough to matter is not 20 seconds. That's long enough that I shouldn't even be bothering. <laughs> uh, Joel tried to do the, the thing with simple flips where uh, he, like, blindfolded himself and tried to do Mario. Under oh, his yeah. like directions, except they were playing over the internet. <laughs> it went about as well as you can probably imagine it did. Oh yeah, probably funny. Probably be frustrating for me if I did that. Oh yeah, I've thought about doing like a blind Mario stream, but we'd have to be in the same room. No fucking yeah. way we're doing that over the internet. Yeah. 
Hey, we did it all by ourselves. That was... It was well hidden. I think I remember it giving me trouble too, but I found it by blind chance. Alright. You know, I even considered that, like, maybe it's between the stages of the elevator, but I guess I didn't look in exactly the right spot in exactly the right elevator transition. They call it the, uh, 360 inside-out rule when it comes to searching something. Yeah, clearly, Urbosa. Thanks. Alright, so... We are going, uh, to the middle part of the room now. Oh. It was in the, like, dead center, wasn't it, of the thing? Yeah, it was dead center, so you're gonna have to, uh, use your slate to, uh... Where? No, that was the entrance! You were just there, bro! I'm going to where the... It's in the center! That was the center entrance! Oh, it's blocked, because the, the thing's... Yes! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Alright, so it's, currently that part's upside down, so you're gonna have to flip it with 180. There you go. Now, is the boss going to be a joke, or is it just gonna demolish us? I don't I remember. Guess, yeah, I guess you know what the boss is, and I don't, so. Uh. I think I remember fighting this guy and being like, wait, what? What's this trick to beating him? I think you want to get your stasis ready. Thunder Blight Ganon. He looks yeah. like the bad guy from that Doraemon movie. Oh. It, I showed you the video. Siva Gunner did, like, a remix of a Doraemon video game theme that I didn't even know existed. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That was a compilation. Or, not a remix. Uh... Yeah, a compilation. It's a collaboration. Medley. Collab, yeah. Collab. Yeah, so, uh... Uh, stasis, and then I guess what, uh, what, what weapons do I want? I don't... Uh... You just get something strong, I guess. Get something... Yeah. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Ow. Uh, it That's uses electricity, charge. so I wonder if I should maybe take my metal shield off. Where'd it go? Oh! He's attacking me! Uh! Jack, do you remember when you played Donkey Kong Country 2 and you're like, it didn't give me a chance to adapt? Yeah, and it was funny. It was funny content, especially yeah. when you were. Well, mm, that didn't work. Alright, good fight. And thus the adventure of Slink ended. Ganon won. Alright, now what did you learn from this loss? Uh, don't swing at him until the, there's, like, open. Yeah? And, and what did I tell you to do? Get stasis ready? And what did you not do? You stasis? You won't be a general someday! With that level of, like, uh, with, of, like, learning? Is he still here, or do I have to go up and out? Okay, he's still here. Yeah. This thing is fast. Alright, attempt... This thing is fast! There he is! Ah! <laughs> there, Just... I got him! Yeah, no! What? Don't... Okay, now... Oh, why are you backing away?! Because you said no, don't! I didn't say no, don't! <laughs> One second, the God goddamn... <laughs> it's just enough to matter. Uh, <laughs> why? Why? Uh, why is my fire sword you... out? All right, next time for sure. Ah, uh, it's okay. You death... are you. You really do suck at this combat. Death, like, death just... has no consequence in this game. Okay.
You just get hit in the face and you're like, is he punching me? Maybe I should block. Just, oh man, this Link is good at stealth and surviving in the wild, but is not good at combat. No wonder Zelda got pissed at him. This is the legendary swordsman. Just fights like he's windmilling his arms at his opponent. This thing is fast. This thing is fast. You, you want to do a different what? fucking weapon? Maybe one of the guardian blades? Uh, why? Is it extra vulnerable to those? I think it. I think it is because he's thunder. Bl I'm. <laughs> mm, my patience with your with your bullshittery is very rapidly reaching its conclusion. Cause I missed. <sighs> hey, good thing I got this fairy, huh? <laughs> now keep hitting him. Look, I got some hits in. I yeah, did good. You you're you're improving. I only have to die a couple times to learn. <sighs> okay, you're gonna need some high, some higher uh, defense equipment probably for this part. All right, what am I wearing? You're wearing you're wearing a sexy clothing. You should probably you should probably wear armor. Maybe maybe you'll survive longer than three hits. Uh. No. That, wow. They're all also you're, fifteen. What? You need. You should probably. Uh, and this is not me being angry at you. This is me just like genuinely just being like you should probably like uh, like improve your like some of your armor to, like, high defensive stuff. Higher defensive stuff. I've, I've been, like, upgrading as much as I have the materials for so far. Yeah. I'm saying you should probably, like, find, like, uh, like some of the materials to improve your defense. Just because, um... I don't know. Like, it... You know what? really... This game really just is kind of merciless with the combat. I think the reason why you're having trouble is because at the end of the day with the Zelda games, the combat was kind was like pretty easy. You could you could fuck up a lot and still not die. Whereas in this game, it, it's like it's like you're basically one or two hit points away from like death, and that's and that seems like it's really just fucking with you. Yeah, see you're. I don't mind it. What, the big one or two? I am okay, like, trying a few times against a boss. You're the one getting mad about it. Because that's how I... I told you, this is how I am. I am... I am... I'm like my mom in a certain way, and I'm like, this is not shade against her. It's just... Like, if I... Like, I notice that, like, I kind of act like her when it comes to seeing somebody just doing something where I'm like, do the thing, and then they just don't do it, like, immediately the way I want. I'm like, but you just, and I, and I just immediately go for, like, what I have to say next, and I try to catch myself, and then just, me and my mom, we, we get easily frustrated when other people just don't do exactly what we want. Okay, so he comes at me. I can't run away to avoid it, so I guess... Can I defend against it, maybe? You gotta, you gotta just do the, the, the thing you were doing before. Just stasis him. Well, no, I'm waiting for him to, like, you keep telling me to do, to do the ca the counterattack to... I didn't say I do the counterattack! I just said stasis him and then, and then hit him. Just avoid his attack. Right, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to learn how to do. Because running in the opposite direction of him does not work. Well, maybe you should run. Maybe you should dash. That's yeah, what I see? was doing. Okay. And it didn't work it, the previous times. You were maybe you were doing something different. You didn't realize you were doing something different. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you were like moving not directly away, but like off, off a slight angle. Sometimes that shit matters. I'm not saying this to be me. I'm saying this because I legitimately think that like in games like these, like, the more modern games, like, the slightest, like, difference in, like, combat angles is, like, is, like, the difference between hitting something and not. I, I understand that. I, I think I'm learning, and you're just being impatient with me learning the boss. I'll get used to it. No, hey, face him, Link, please. 
All right, I'm Z target. I'm gonna try shielding. Shielding works. There you go. Okay. Uh... Okay, now. I know, I know. I'm trying. It's not doing it fa as fast as I would like. At least the axe is like really powerful. You gotta let it. And you drop your shield. At the very least, you can like. I'm also still fighting the controls a little bit. Yeah, because I Because they're tell. still like, very strange for a Zelda game. And I have to constantly think about what I'm pressing and doing. It's weird that, like, I don't really have that problem with learning new games where I'm just, I just accept that each new game is, like, is, like, different. Well, I can say that, but... But I have, but I also remember sometimes I'm, I don't know. Aw, oh, that's too slow. Why, you, you were, you had a winning strategy and, okay. Okay. Put your weapon away, please, Link. I, I thought if I could do the shield. I thought if I could do the spinny thing, then I could uh, I could get more hits on him in a, in a in a sequence. Yeah. I'm hoping you're able to like uh, to like down him before. Uh... I still have also, my like uh, extra health thing. And also, I get frustrated with you, but when it comes to like me being competitive, you also know I get frustrated with myself. So at least I have equal opportunity pisser. I have equal opportunity pissery. All right, now for the easier second phase. Going up top? No. No, he's just gonna. Where'd he is go? Is this gonna be easier? Where is he? He's gonna sneak up on me. Oh, I see. Lightning attacks. Do you have to climb up and, like, fight him? Wait, no, he's there. Where? He was coming down to like attack you, and he, and you and he missed because you were moving. It seemed like. Looks no? to me like he's just staying up there. So then you got to you got to climb up somehow. Can I rotate the thing while this fight is happening? Try it. No. No. I guess I'm just oh. supposed to be up here. Yeah, we're going up there now. So all he's doing his thing, maybe shoot him with like a, an arrow? I was looking for where he was. Now he's got the shield up. Alright, so... Uh-oh. So what is he... Hmm... How'd I do this? Mag Maybe I stasis again? Oh, he's doing something! Where'd he go? Hello? Is anybody home? Is the boss battle over? Oh, there he is. God damn it! You Maybe use stasis while he's up there. Okay, now shoot him. No? You, you, you didn't do it quick enough, though. Okay, no? Alright. Bomb arrow? Ah! That... Maybe, maybe hit, hit him with a bomb arrow. I don't know. You need a way around that shield. Okay, I need to stasis him and go to the other side of him in this short a time? That's not gonna work, Urbosa. 
No, there's no way. No. Wait. Magnesis? Grab one of the pillars and then and then just hold it up. I said magnesis, not stasis. You heard me say the second phase was going to be easier. We got mad about it. Yeah. Now, will it, now does it work? Where is it? It does, but I have it to does. go faster. Yeah. Now he's going to come to this side drop. of the room. No? This is going to be there now, and dropping the stuff. Hit it. Okay. Uh, well, it works, so they must want us to do something with it. Yeah, them. they're wanting you to do something involving that. I can try dropping it on his head, I guess. Yeah. Maybe that's what the Yiga thing was preparing you for? Doing that? No, hit it! Ah! Extra health. Okay, now I just... You got him! Hey, you hit him! Good job! Do I need to follow up? No, he's just gonna... No, well, it did, it did a lot of damage, so not necessarily. What you gonna do now? I got no, to see He's gonna do his thing again! Ow. No, he's just gonna attack. Okay. And have you drop the shield, so... Ow. Wow, you got... You're getting wrecked. Uh... And eat some food again, and then maybe I can try the runaway strat? Um... Yeah, stasis ready, and then just... Or maybe while he's back there, you can hit it and then just run up quickly enough to just hit his uh, weapon. Okay, now go! No, it didn't work. Oh my... Uh, he's electrified. Like, you can use an electric weapon, but there must be like, Wait, a solution the to this. Wait, doesn't the circlet defend against uh, electricity? No, it doesn't. It does... What's the... No, does there'd the... have to be, like, something to... Oh, that's guardian resist up. Never mind. Uh... There has to be an intended way to, like, deal with this. Let me, I'll, I'll uh, do a quick look up. See what, what's, what's the, what the gist is. Uh, yeah, did he says, lose his says, charge? He does. He did. Yeah. Okay, so I have to avoid him for a little while, and then he'll eventually. I hit him! More combat! Oh no, your ancient battle axe is almost done. Yes! Good good follow-up! Ah! Eating all my food! Okay, yeah, this yeah. boss is way harder than the other one. Oh yeah. Uh, this is the boss I started with. <laughs> no wonder you stopped playing. <laughs> I chose the wrong. Okay, now avoid him. Wait. Oh, he's... Laser shit. Nope. Go away. Bad touch. Okay, ah! Ah! No! Jack, we've, we've gone over four hours. <laughs> We're almost there. Just kick his ass. You know how to fight him now. Just yeah. don't... Just just don't be fancy. Just don't, like, 
Don't try to, like, add swagger. Just beat the shit out of them. You think I was trying Unless to add they... swagger? I don't know. I mean, you were... You did the, the, the charge attack with the axe. That was... Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Okay. Here it goes. Ah, man! You had the shield. You have your shield again, so... Oh, yeah. You saved... We don't need an early hit like that. Okay, so first round, just block, uh, stasis, hit, uh, hit him until he until he goes gets got, and then second round, uh, move the the pull up and uh, and have him get shock himself. Third round, dodge his electric attacks, and then when he loses his charge, block stasis and then hit him. This thing is pretty fast. much. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. I think the reason why I got I'm getting kind of like aggravated is because I remember beating this guy first try. <laughs> I don't think I'm, my memory is correct, but I don't remember having this tough a time with them. Oh, you're focusing. I get it. I'll, I'll shut up. No, I just I I can't imagine you doing this first try either. I play Dark Souls, so I imagine it's just like oh, this is like Dark Souls. I'll just do it like this. Did you beat Dark Souls bosses first try? Uh, at first I didn't. Uh, I, like, I remember the first Dark Souls boss I beat first try was, uh, Sif, the, uh, the, the Great Wolf. The, the wolf with the, uh, sword in his mouth. I don't remember how I managed it first try, but somehow I did. I just, I did. Let us know in the oh. comments if you beat this boss first try, so that I can also call you a liar. <laughs> You're getting good at him, though. You gotta take it. I don't think you took a hit this that time. You know what? We need to bring back games that, like, if you if you start like doing shittily, they tell you you suck in certain ways. Yeah. Like when, like in uh, the Crash like, Pity Masks. Yes. That, you got so fucking was... mad when Spyro made the boss easier for you. <laughs> it's great. That's the that's that's game trolling I can get behind. Game telling you you the game telling you you suck. Hit him. Do it. No. Okay. I don't understand when he does and doesn't hit himself with it. Oh, you're way too close. Or not. There it goes. Alright, I think that's good enough for him to... No? He's... Alright, now dodge. Ah, dodge. I hit the wrong buttons again. How are you... Uh, I have Magnesis still. How are you... I... This isn't me being angry, this is me being legitimately curious as to how you're, like, so incapable of, like, learning another, like, button layout. It does, it just takes a while, okay? It, we're, we're four streams in, and yes. you've been playing a lot off-screen, I don't know... <laughs> okay, he's thunder again, so don't block. Oh, he's gonna fire a fucking laser beam! I wonder if he can deflect the guard. He can't. Oh, oh, God. Yes. Probably get your uh, your gold hearts in. Hey, you know what? This time you're using less food so far. Okay. Nope. Okay, he's... Can you stasis him while he's down there like that? Just, like, down at all? Yeah. Maybe. It seems like he was... Oh, now he's electrified again. Oh, Shit. there go my hearts. I guess I must have to. Oh, okay. Now's your chance. Now's your chance. 
All right, one more cycle. We got plenty of food this time. Yeah. So anytime he's down near the ground and not electrified is fine. Yeah. I probably, I probably like sussed that out the first time, and that's how I was able. He's still electrified, so you gotta just kinda dodge until he loses his spark. Wow, he got caught up on the pillar! Go down! Uh oh. Oh no! Food! Eat something! Okay! He's, he's too it. high. Also, he can still do the laser even while he's stasis. Maybe if you... Oh, uh, no, because that wouldn't work. Bomb arrows. I was, I was thinking bomb arrows, but... I think the, the electric charge lasts longer as he gets lower health. Yeah. That's annoying. So close, and this guy decides that he's like, okay, I'm not gonna give you any like a chance to attack at all. This time for sure. Watch you beat that other boss first strike because it was so easy. This guy is just like, he's the ultimate enemy. I am Thunderblight Ganon! Very slow, the axe. I wonder if I can get more hits in with the, the different weapon. I don't know if your DPS would be better. Honestly, you should you could probably use the barbarian armor and like have it the fight end quicker. I forgot to do the Oh now my things are okay. Now I got it again. Alright, do your attack. The bar I, I was gonna say barbarian armor would increase your damage. Yeah, but, I know. But you just don't wanna wear it. Well I I'm kinda wary of taking more hits. Yeah, fair enough. Also, I don't have it, like, upgraded. Oh, yeah, you're right. You need to kill Lion Lionel shit to, uh... I guess it is, uh... I'll try it. <laughs> yeah. What is it? 3-3-3? Three, three, three versus 5-5-5. Yeah, versus five, 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 five. Five, five. There's a little bit of a hit to the... Yeah, but your damage is up by 3, so... No! Oh. Face him, Link! Wow, your game is just falling apart. It's like what Michael said, like, all your accumulated skill just goes out. I got distracted because I was changing clothes. Alright. Uh, that's, not, that's not much. You can you can switch back. It doesn't ah! do it. Ran right into it. Lost your night shield. You know, if you just he, he can stagger him while he's back, while he's like did the final part of his teleport, and then okay. Was oh, that two cycles? Or is that still three? Huh? Oh, I, think, I don't know. No, I think it was three. <laughs> okay, it seems like we didn't start wearing the barbarian armor. Yeah.
theoretically you could like fight they could do the thing while you're down there, but Oh, this is a terrible vantage point. Where is he? He's probably in the center. He's always in the center. He's not gonna be like off on the on the side. Like a down here. Well, he's still electrified. You would damage yourself if you hit him. At least I think that's how that works. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it was a, a fluke. I could also... I have an electric weapon I could use. I mean... It's kind of hard to tell at a glance when he is, like, unelectrified. I... Are you sure? No. Okay. I'd say try it. Just, just fucking try it again. It's either that or you, you eventually make a mistake and he, and he just tans your hide. We did unelectrify eventually just running from him. There he there is! Was. Go! 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 Ah! You... Mmm. One or two seconds. Just enough. Ah! Phase three kind of sucks. Okay. You're, what do you, you're what gonna... do you think? Should I wear the barbarian thing? No, no, it's not worth it. Especially if he's just. I'd say, I'd say, take the chance and like, if he's electrified, try and hit him. I don't know if, if it didn't. What the stuff I said didn't say anything. Maybe he just counterattacked you too quickly. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, th I can probably hit him safely while in stasis, but once he's yeah, out of it, I'll take damage. It's very, it's, you it just, he's glowing, when he's electrified, he's got electricity going through him, and when he's not, he doesn't. That's like... And also, like, you, you can, even if he's, like, teleported back, you can still, like, quickly stasis him and run forward there. It's not much of an opening. It's still more of an opening than just missing and just waiting for another cycle and either and just losing dam losing damage on your shield A and B like uh, like just potentially taking hits. The first cycle has not been a problem and the shield damage has not been a problem. Okay. Like this is the safe method. I think it's a four cycle without barbarian armor. Theoretically, what you could do if you wanted to be like really, really like a dick, you could just when he's stunned, just quickly change into barbarian armor and then hit him, and then ch and then after you fight, finish the cycle, just change back into your regular armor. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> It'll tease, it... but it would work. Yeah, it's, it's maximizing your min max stats of damage. That's, uh... There's a Pokemon that can do that, and it's banned to Ubers. Oh, you, uh, which one is that? Uh, Aegislash. It's like a sword be... and shield. Oh, yeah, that that one. You think you'd be better... You'd, you'd be more accurate with the, uh, stasis if you, uh... If you, like, turned off gyroscope? No, I don't think so. Okay. I'm using it basically at point-blank range immediately in front of me. You, you, but, yeah...
kind of want this to be like the like an entire second phase, but alas. No, nope, I shielded again. Wait, what? Yeah, no, go, 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 oh. I did not react Press in time. Press A to deflect your style right before it lands for a perfect guard. So... Wait, what? Yeah, it said that's what it said in the corner. It says you press A before an attack lands, you get a perfect guard, and that's what happened. So... I, okay, so I can guard the electric attack? Yeah, perfectly. Yeah, so when he drops it before he lifts up, that's when he can hit with the stasis. And, like, that's a... That's a uh... Do I, it! I pressed the thing, it didn't come out. Go! Or just hit him! Or don't even worry about stasis at that point and just hit him because he's like... Oh. And then sometimes he does that to mix it up. Yeah. Okay, and you missed another opp- okay. I'll shut up. I, I, I'll let you- I'll let you cook. Wait, is he still electric? Okay, no he's not. Okay, so that works. What? You could okay. Oh no, your stasis was was still recharging. Okay, that ex okay. Sorry, I'm getting frustrated. I I'm trying not to. I swear, I can't help it. I have a problem, Zelrog. I am an angry, angry boy. Can't see camera. Fucking please. On the ground, you could like stun him when he's like charging his, his like laser, and then you run up and dash him. I'll probably miss and get lasered in the face. What was okay? What happened there? What? What? Like I was trying what? to get up. I, Jack, I, this stuff like getting up and using the thing takes longer than I think you think it takes. I. Okay, get up, Link. Wait. He is now shielding. And that's as long as it lasts. And there he goes. I think going for all of these openings you're telling me to go for is just getting me hit a lot. Yeah, it's, you're you not. But the thing is that the more you don't like go for those openings, the longer the fight lasts, and the longer the fight lasts, the more openings you're going to give, and he's going to exploit. Not if I'm like safe. It's and weird smart how about how it. I'm the one saying saying go for these go for these openings, and you're just like, no, nah, I'm gonna play it safe. It's yeah, just... I physically cannot react in time for the things you want me to go for. I'm old, okay. I'm older than you, and I did it. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. I did it. <laughs> Why don't you look up what, uh, see if anyone has, like, ranked the bosses in this game. What do other people think of their difficulty levels? Alright. Just out of curiosity. Breath of the Wild, hardest boss. Hardest top ten by Screen Rant. There's ten bosses in this game? Well, I guess if you're counting, like, Lionels and shit. Yeah. Surely Calamity Ganon will be easier than this. It's in the- it's- this- it, uh, this- this one sucks because it takes all the elemental, like, ones and, uh, and puts them all together, and I don't- and I don't think that that's What do you good. mean elemental? Like, all the- all the, like, Thunder Blight and stuff, they're all, like, one, apparently. Okay. Yeah, that's- not, that's a terrible list. They're all completely yeah. different bosses. Uh, Thunder Blight is number two, according to this other list. Which means there's one that's, like, harder. Calamity Ganon? Uh, he's on there. I'm not gonna spoil it. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. 
I don't run out of hard drive space again. <laughs> did you? Did that happen one other time? Uh, it has happened a couple times recently. H how about this? If you don't get it in the next couple of tries, we'll just stop because and come at this fresh another time. Because I'm getting, I'm getting more aggravated. You're like, uh, I, I think at some point you'll just hit a roadblock and then you're, you'll drop. It'll be diminishing returns. So. I'm I'm doing better each time, despite you being mad at my performance. I I'm less angry and more disappointed. Okay. Yeah. I, I wait. Can you I, hit him for? Oh. I don't agree with your frustration, but I do still find it kind of funny. Okay. Good. I don't- I don't want you to think I'm, like, legitimately, like, friendship ending pissed off. Get up, please, oh, Link. Like... Now he did the mix-up timing. Maybe- maybe you shouldn't- I don't know. Come on. Do it. And that way you, you're able to get like two hits in, so so that's. Oh, you're I not. Tried, you don't have... I missed. Yeah, well, oh, no, you didn't cool miss. Down? It was on cooldown. You should heal. Let me just uh, heal while I'm in the middle of eating this attack. Yum yum. Damn it. He's floating in the sky, so I can't. Do it, do it, do it, do it! Run! He's still doing the laser! It did. It didn't stop the laser. You missed. You missed a couple because you weren't close enough. There is valor if you if you landed like three of those hits, then uh, then you would have broken a shield. There is valor in dodging. Shut up, Robosa. He also can't see target from that far away. Ah. <sighs> Your strat- I'm sorry, your strategy is not working. And the third phase, your strategy is just getting you killed over and over again. It- And yes, that is my opinion. Yeah. It is not fact. That is- In my opinion, you just doing the same limp strategy is just getting you killed. Just- All right, let me see. Let me see how the experts do uh Watch Watch Thunderblade Ganon. The easiest way to defeat Thunderblade Ganon, according to Hyrule dude, 2.2 million views. Did you did you knock him away without dealing any damage to him? Uh, I, I don't know. Did I? I don't know. It, it seems like you hit him and he flew away, but he. No, it okay, deals no, damage, did. but I didn't you quite did. break his shield. You did. A lot of these hits are because Z targeting is not working. Then. Alright. 
Oh, you know what you you know what you should have been doing this what? entire time? Fury Rush. You should have dodged. There is valor in dodging. You do a right time to dodge while he's while he's making his move. You dodge to the side and then you hit Y repeatedly to unleash a, a flurry. Yeah, like that. See? That's what you should do phase three. Yeah? Yeah. Hopefully that works when he's electrified. I think it will. It worked when you when you did the when you did perfect berry. That's why I was able to beat the dude because I because I was able to like do the, the dodging shit and I'm like, okay, that's how I do it. I don't have guardian swags, so you should probably rip through him like a hot knife through butter. Nope. Missed. What? I don't know. It worked. You, you didn't see him? I, like, I, the, the sti I expected the stick to be the other way for some reason. I'm not even angry, I'm just confused. Man. I'm pressing it. Go on, do your thing, Link. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Yeah. Easy, boss. <laughs> First try. And, and, and this, Silverhawk, is why you need to learn, like, the fundamentals of combat in this game. Would you believe I've barely used the flurry mechanic until now? Uh, I believe it. You said you don't, you, you have trouble, like, remembering the buttons, so I figured, in that case, you would not want to use as more buttons than normal. It makes, it makes perfect sense to me. Also, the majority of enemies go down by just cutting them until they die. Yeah, it's the it, the problem is that if you get complacent like that, then if the if like you get somebody that's like slightly stronger, oh man, the high the the higher level Heinels, if you don't have like the flurry mechanics down, they would they would fuck you up. Hey, another heart. We had to look up how to solve the dungeon, and we had to look up how to beat the boss, which you knew, but you fucking forgot. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I did. I have no excuse. <laughs> then again, my, 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 me saying how to beat him would just be the equivalent of me just telling you, get good. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't have bought that. Oh wait, yes, I, I want to activate it. In every what? continuity where Link dies, the, the little chief is down there, gee, I wonder how he's doing. <laughs> That, ah, oh, man. What? This, this is. A... You know what? At least you didn't eat too much food this time. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Did you? Thanks to your valor and skill, your valor and soul is free. The valor of dodging. <laughs> there is valor in dodging. Which means that finally we can complete what we started years ago. Big hair. I've waited so long waited for the moment so to see you finally rush. That was fucking time. amazing. Just, well moment, I don't think we bickered this much in all three of our Majora stuff combined. Yeah. Which reminds me, <laughs> that I was. To give you a little I, although it's happened like every Breath of the Wild stream at least once. That's a very Japanese thing, by the way. The little, like the little blue flames around a, a spirit. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> All right, what can you do, Urbosa? Jax knows, but I don't know yet. It's not that. It's not I as mean, useful as like Revali. I don't. No, it not as useful, which is why I was like kind of ticked off. You'll you'll see what it. I know you have 
suffered much know, regarding what happened to us champions. What happened to us champions. But this is how things had to happen. This is how things had to no happen. one need care. It had to be this way. So please. Make it so clear so she understands that. So she understands that. Tell her to shed any we'll words. Tell her to shed any words. <laughs> and let her know. Let her know. I couldn't be more proud. Of Good mom, Herbosa. Yeah, she's she's the, she's the best. Care of the princess. Care of the princess. Oh, and also. Oh, it's a shame yeah, she's dead, but she's also her. awesome. So is it just like a, like a zap all enemies around you, just thunderbolt? Yeah, you, it, it activates when you uh, do a spin dash, a spin attack. It's all right. I I I I much would rather have the high jump. That's like the thunder spell in Zelda too. <laughs> I have revived your weapon of mass destruction. It is yours to use as you wish, 14-year-old chieftain. Average 14-year-old be like, Oh, fuck yeah, I got a giant robot. I'm gonna go on a joyride. Joyride a giant robot. This thing was meant to fight Ganon. So no, it's a sandstorm and electrical platform, and then you got the bird, which is a uh, orbital cannon platform. It's so bizarre because I know you don't care about like timeline. Timeline doesn't actually matter. Nintendo doesn't care about it. But this is like the latest ver the latest game in the timeline, quote unquote, and it has these giant ultra robots. And yeah. Skyward Sword had a section where the most technologically advanced thing was a robot civilization that was like a thousand years in the past from that game. Is this like Xenogears level like continuity? It's just it's, it's a giant time me. loop. Yeah. The timeline is in is in a is a Mobius strip. Nobori. Nobori. Legend of the Garuda. Legend of celebrated Garuda. over ages. Celebrated over ages. And you who were named to honor. Who were named you hear that? Legend well. I'm a legend. Isn't that right? My skills legend. are legendary. Yeah, when you can access them. It doesn't happen all at once! My body moves on its own. <laughs> you know what that was? That was a use two hands moment. <laughs> oh, right, old man Yamamoto trained me to use the flurry mechanic. I hate doing that. Much rather block and then slowly hit him. That's more fun. It drags the fight out longer. <laughs> Kenpachi logic. We were using Kenpachi logic the entire fight, except for stasis. That was keto. I have no frame of reference for what the Calamity Ganon fight itself could be like, because I, I know either. Ganondorf is not in this game, so I don't know if he's gonna have like. A form. You're just gonna be fighting mist. You're gonna be swinging your sword at mist. It's gonna be some like super abstract thing, like the sorrow. Okay. Before, uh. Yeah, Urbosa's Fury. Destructive power born from the unbridled anger of the champion Urbosa. She doesn't seem like an angry person. Yeah, she seems pretty chill, honestly. Anger? That Those are the ones who you have to worry most about when they do get angry. Yeah, the chill ones, yeah. What were you going to say? Uh, I, I'm going to say uh, you're you're at ten hearts. Yeah? Um, I'd say before the next uh, like time you do Breath of the Wild, get to thirteen hearts. Okay. Yeah. It's a specific number? Very, yes, very specific. Uh, well, I don't want to go a... to, like, the Zora or Goron areas before we've met them, but, uh, I will... I'll do some stuff, and I'll definitely try to see if I can upgrade armor further. Yeah. Maybe find another Hinox. But, uh... Oh, that's it for today. Almost five hours. Uh, one of those hours was spent, like, fight... Fight <laughs> fucking Thunder Ganon. Yeah. Fucking, what a dick. All right. 
Thank you, I guys. Don't, yeah. I don't think I I don't think I beat him first try. I don't think it took me like a whole lot of time to do though. I think uh, I knowing him. about the flurry mechanic, I would believe you did it a lot faster than I did. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We'll probably be back maybe sometime over Thanksgiving break or next weekend to do something. We'll see. Yeah, probably. See you next time. See you next time.